sat down with Rick on Sunday at 3.30, and we asked him some point-blank questions about Brian Boyning. And there was, well, some difficulty getting anything specific out of Rick on Sunday. One of the things that we asked him, though, was... What do you have to do? What is the process here for Brian Boyning? Do you waive him? Can somebody else pick him up? And the answer really was, yeah, the Gold Eyes have to waive him. They hope and don't think that anybody's going to pick him up on a waiver claim because they know the situation. Rick also said that he didn't think the league would allow it knowing the situation. Well, guess what? The Gold Eyes, in advance of this series, and to make room on their pitching staff, maybe for Nick Carr, while they waive on irrevocable waivers and revocable waivers. Those are the two. They place Brian Boyning on revocable waivers. Guess what happens? St. Paul claims him. After Rick thought that that was an impossibility. The interesting part of it, too, is that George Samus, the field manager, director of player procurement for St. Paul, and Rick Forney are pretty good friends. And Rick, I don't think, was very happy about it. Of course, it's a business move, and George Samus would tell you that. But Rick felt, as he talked to us in the pregame show here, in the dugout show for Archangel Fireworks, that he maybe felt that it was not a case of St. Paul getting the player in Brian Boyning, but preventing the Gold Eyes from using Brian further on into this season as we play game 62 here tonight. Well, the Gold Eyes pulled Brian Boyning back because you could do that on revocable waivers. If it was irrevocable waivers, well, of course, he's free to be claimed and away he goes. Sometimes what happens on revocable waivers is you pull a player back, you say to the team that made the waiver claim, okay, what do you want to give up to get him? In this case, the Gold Eyes have no interest in moving Brian Boyning to the St. Paul Saints, so they pull him back. Brian was able to work out his schedule. He's here for the next three games against Quebec. So that's good news, but interesting how some hijinks things are going on in the American Association right now, and Brian Boyning right in the middle of it, and the Gold Eyes protected their player by pulling him back, and he is on the roster, the Gold Eyes roster now at 20 players. Barely Spottis Wood is gone, personal reasons and they traded Ridge Carpenter to Sioux Falls really had struggled this year Rick talked about that my only concern is and I tried to ask Rick about it today as well you know you've got Kyle Day with a hamstring problem it's been there seemingly all year he tweaked it again after he thought it was healthy after that trip in Texas where he injured it originally and then he had a shoulder problem seemed like everything was healthy then he tweaked it again he was DHing for the most part every game on that seven game road trip where the gold eyes went five and two he'll play in left field he says that he's okay of course, you'll have to make sure that Chris Roberson covers a little bit more ground in the left center as he is capable of doing as well. And then John Weber will DH. John felt, and I talked to him before the game, he's about three solid games, three solid days away from really being able to go out and track it down in left field. But he's back in the lineup, is Weber. He will DH tonight. But not a lot of wiggle room for the Gold Eyes when it comes to having any spare parts on the bench. The extra player for them tonight is reliever Kaohe Downing, who the Gold Eyes used a couple of times, once in right field in, in Sioux Falls, and also as a pitch runner, he also got an at-bat as well. So Kaohe will be not only on the depth chart in the lineup card today as a pitcher for Winnipeg, and he is available, but he's also on the depth chart as the other bench player positionally for Winnipeg to start this six-game homestand and first of three against La Capitale. We'll take a break, come back. When we do return, we'll have a look at the morning line for Assiniboia Downs. We'll do that after these. This place is filling up nicely on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. This Gold Eye season, Salisbury House on the Esplanade Riel is hitting it right out of the park. With great new taste sensations to get you ready to roar before the game or relive the fun after the final out. With so many great choices, every visit is a new eating adventure. And remember, Sal's is the only place to go for a nip platter, the fan favorite that hits a home run every time. So before or after any Gold Eyes game, stroll on over for great food and fun on the Esplanade Riel at Salisbury House. Your house, your food, your way. A good hit to right field. It's going, going over the wall. (laughs) 
hit a home run at Cambrian Credit Union. Thanks to the unfee, our members saved over $3 million in the last year. A real team bonus. There once was a young boy named Eric who had a passion for trucks. Big trucks, little trucks. He loved them all. Who vowed one day trucks would be his life's work. And when he grew up, he bought some trucks. Lots of them. Tough, hard-working, shiny, silver trucks with big logos. You've seen them around. I know you have. Eric's so proud of his trucks, he carries a picture of them in his wallet. Johnson Waste Management. Doing our best to be the very best. Ask, listen, and talk. Be polite, but persistent. The Manitoba Institute for Patient Safety website has more information on how you can learn to be safe. Now, back to the pregame show with the voice of the Gold Eyes, Paul Edmonds. And it's the Winnipeg Insurance pregame show ride to the ballpark. Come on down here tonight. We're expecting over 6,000 in attendance tonight. It is Francophone Manitoba night here tonight as well as Quebec being here for the first time. How appropriate, of course. And the Winnipeg Insurance pregame show ride to the ballpark brought to you by Winnipeg Insurance, 889-2870, winnipeginsurancebrokers.com. Game 62 here tonight. And the Gold Eyes are 37 and 24, winners of two straight and five of their last seven. Quebec is 41 and 20 and leading the six-team Can-Am League. Let's have a look at the morning line, and it's brought to you by Assiniboia Downs. Exciting horse racing, gaming, and dining open all day, every day. Go to asdowns.com for more information. Assiniboia Downs, feel the rush. Well, the Gold Eyes were idle last night. There was a number of teams that were as well, Fargo and Sioux Falls, along with St. Paul. Uh, They were the only team in the Gold Eyes division that actually played last night. Here's the score. St. Paul crushed Sioux City 14-2. Luke Anderson picked up the win. Jason Jarvis the loss. Kansas City, while they kept pace, their four back of the gold eyes in the wild card. They shut out Grand Prairie 7-0. Amarillo also did their four back of Winnipeg in the wild card standings with a 9-5 victory over Wichita. Boy, it's been a struggle for the wingnuts of late probably for the last month or so, and uh, you wonder if it's going to get any better. Laredo did defeat Lincoln 5-1 to one last night in a pretty quiet night across the association. Tonight, Sioux Falls is just down the road in Fargo. We'll definitely keep an eye on that one. El Paso's in Grand Prairie. Amarillo at Wichita. St. Paul's in Kansas City. We'll watch that one both from the Saints and Kansas City perspectives. Saints, of course in the Gold Eyes division, and the Saints are five and a half back of Winnipeg for first in the division, or excuse me, for second in the division, and also five and a half back of Winnipeg for first in the wild card race. And Kansas City, just four back of Winnipeg in the wild card race as well. 7-10 tonight, Sioux City at Gary, and Lincoln at Laredo at 7:30. Let's have a look at the standings. In the north, Fargo leads by one game on Winnipeg at 38 and 23. The Gold Eyes are 37 and 24. Both those two teams, Fargo and Winnipeg, playing over 600 baseball. Six and a half back of the lead in the north, St. Paul, five and a half back of Winnipeg for the wild card at 31 and 29. They've won eight of their last 10. Sioux Falls, well, they've dumped two in a row and seven of their last 10. They're nine games back of Fargo. Eight back of Winnipeg, 29 and 32 is the record. Central Division, Wichita, a very slim lead. One and a half games on Kansas City at 35 and 27. Kansas City, 34 and 29. Then Gary, seven games back at 28 and 34. Sioux City, seven and a half in arrears of Wichita, 28 and 35. And then Lincoln with the worst record in the league at 24 and 38. 11 games back, they've lost three in a row. South, Grand Prairie's lead is only five and a half. They are 39 and 23 are the Air Hogs, five and a half better than Amarillo at 34 and 29. Laredo 10 and a half back, and El Paso 13.5 games in arrears of Grand Prairie. Your division leaders again: Fargo at 38 and 23 by one on Winnipeg. Wichita in the Central at 35 and 27, one and a half on Kansas City, and in the South, Grand Prairie 39 and 23 by five and a half on Amarillo. 
The season ended today. Fargo, Wichita, Grand Prairie would all get in by virtue of winning their respective divisions, North, Central, and South. And the Gold Eyes would win the wild card. They have a four-game lead on Kansas City and Amarillo in the wild card standings. We'll take another quick timeout. When we do return, we'll have a look at the pitching matchup here tonight. On the rubber for Cal Tire. Next, after these, from downtown Winnipeg on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. When you're stepping up to the plate with a major league appetite, make the big play for the home run special at Chicken Delight. Here's the pitch. Eight pieces of delicious chicken, medium fries and gravy, two liter Pepsi, and two free Winnipeg Gold Eyes ticket vouchers. That's a $40 value for just $26.99. It's a hit. So don't call tonight. Tonight, all right. Call Chicken Delight. Free Jive Interactive Media is online, on site, and on the street. Grab the new online version of the Free Jive Weekly at freejivewinnipeg.com or pick it up at one of our 200 local restaurant locations. Find us at local events and keep a lookout for the Free Jive Cruiser around the city. And make sure to visit freejivewinnipeg.com to keep updated on all of our weekly contests and giveaways. Free Jive Interactive Media, online, on site, on the street. Who do your Winnipeg Gold Eyes trust to keep them in the game with state-of-the-art chiropractic care? Cairo Care Health Center. And if the professionals at Cairo Care Health Center can keep highly tuned athletes going strong for over 100 games a season, imagine what they can do for you. To meet the chiropractic team trusted by your Winnipeg Gold Eyes, visit CairoCareHealth.com or call 488-CARE. Cairo Care Health Center. Care today for a better tomorrow. Remember life on the other side, at the mercy of mosquitoes and Mother Nature? Good thing you called Best Windows and Doors and discovered just how awesome summer is in a Sunspace sunroom. Sunspace offers solid two-inch wall construction and great options. Plus, they're simple to use and easy to clean. No bugs, no bad weather, just sweet summer living. Discover Sunspace sunrooms today from Best Windows and Doors, where the best is all we do. 1676 St. James. Now, let's get back to the Gold Ice pregame show with Paul Edmonds. Final segment of the Winnipeg Insurance pregame show round of the ballpark brought to you by Winnipeg Insurance. Game 62, Winnipeg 37 and 24, Quebecer 41 and 20. Let's have a look at On the Rubber, and it's brought to you by Cal Tire. Five convenient locations in the capital region, more across the province. We're more than just tires, Cal Tire, true service. Here's the pitching matchup, and On the Rubber tonight for game one between Winnipeg and Quebec. Carl Jelena will get the start for the Quebec Capitale, and he is a right-hander. 6'4", 200 pounds, and he is 28 years old. He'll be 29 next month. He's a veteran, pitched in AAA and was with Quebec last year as well. He'll make his 13th start. He has one complete game. He's 6-3 and three with a 2.43 ERA, 81 and one-third innings, only 77 hits, 22 earned runs, 11 walks, 59 strikeouts, so control is pretty good, but he has given up eight home runs, the second most on the staff for Pat Scalabrini's group and the opposition hitting 249 against him. On the gold eye side, left-hander Todd Privet will get the start. Privet, 6 feet, 190, 26 years old, from Salt Lake City, Utah. And for Todd, his fifth start as a gold eye, 13th of the year. He's 4-3 with a 367 ERA, 78 hits and 61 and one-third. 25 earned runs, 22 walks, 41 strikeouts, and the opposition batting 311 against him. So left-hander Privet for Winnipeg, Jelena the right-hander for Quebec here tonight. That is it for the pregame show ride of the ballpark. If you're thinking about coming down, please do. Five bucks get you in the ballpark. Good crowd tonight. A historical night as well as the Gold Eyes host Le Capitale for the first time ever. That's it. We'll pause for the anthem, and when we come back, Starting lineups, first pitch, Gold Eyes, Quebec Capital, next on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. While there's no known cure for ALS, there is hope. The ALS Society of Manitoba supports families affected by ALS. Our client services coordinator works with your family to determine your needs. And the Brummett Feesby ALS House provides 24-hour care designed to specifically meet the needs of people living with ALS. Because hope is important in the lives of those affected by ALS. The ALS Society of Manitoba. We help our people every way we can. 
Visit alsmb.ca. Coaches, your players are great at scoring goals. But when the goal is raising money, it's not always easy to score. And that's where the Winnipeg Free Press can help. We're introducing a unique fundraising promotion available to all Manitoba minor league sports teams. And if you participate, your team has a chance to meet Winnipeg Jets of Vander Kane. For complete program information, go to winnipegfreepress.com slash team game and find out how your team can get involved. In business, you need all aspects of your operation working together. Still, the decisions you make in one area can impact another. At MNP, we offer a full range of services from accounting, consulting, and tax. So we can help across all aspects of your operation with the resources and industry-specific knowledge that can help your business grow. Think forward. Contact your local MNP office or visit us online at mnp.ca. In business, you need all aspects of your operation working together. Still, the decisions you make in one area can impact another. At MNP, we offer a full range of services from accounting, consulting, and tax. So we can help across all aspects of your operation with the resources and industry-specific knowledge that can help your business grow. Think forward. Contact your local MNP office or visit us online at mnp.ca. You've got the best seat in the house. Starting lineups are brought to you by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, 1425 Ellis. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries live life comfortably. Todd Privet will get the start for the Gold Eyes. He'll face a Capitale lineup that looks like this. Jeff Helps to lead it off. He's at short. Jonathan Mallow is at third, batting second. Sebastian Boucher hits third. He's out in center. Renny Lavret will be at first and bat cleanup. Josue Pele will catch and bat fifth. Steve Brown hitting sixth out in right. Robert Wagner out in left, batting seventh. Ronnie Rodriguez, the DH, hitting eighth. And Josh Califamina will be at second and bat ninth. That lineup again for Pat Scalabrini's 41 and 20 Quebec Capital. Helps Mallow, Boucher, Leverett, Pele, Brown, Wagner, Rodriguez. And Califamina. First pitch is right down the middle for a strike, and we're underway at 7.05 tonight. Five minutes after 7 o'clock Central. Glad to have you along. Only one anthem tonight, the 0-1. Breaking ball is outside. One ball, one strike, so we had to kind of move along. And our opening pitch, after racing through the starting lineups, are brought to you by the Greenwood Inn. Pitch is on the outside edge for a strike, one and two. Opening pitch tonight at 7.05 Central, brought to you by the Greenwood Inn and Suites. Make the Greenwood Inn and Suites your home base for all your accommodation, dining, and meeting needs in Winnipeg. The 1 2 pitch to Helps is outside, 2 and 2. Call toll free today to the Greenwood, 888 233 6730. Two balls and two strikes to the shortstop, batting from the left side, the pitch. Breaking ball swung on and fouled back to the screen. Good hack there by Jeff Helps. And the count two and two. Glad to have you along tonight. Our home plate umpire is Joe Stegner. He calls the balls and strikes. Former AAA umpire. Mike Riggers is at first base and Mike O'Leary is at third. From the full wind, the 2-2. Swung on, fouled back. Can we do it again? So Stegner calling the balls and strikes. Riggers is at first. O'Leary is at third base and those gentlemen will be here right through on this six game homestand for the gold eyes and rotating around through this series 2-2 curve swung on hit on the ground right side back in and pick up by kendall has to hurry to first and just in time to get jeff helps well to his right price a backhanded pickup and then Helps runs pretty good, but the throw just got there in time, and there's one away. And here's Jonathan Mallow. Right-handed swinging third baseman. Defensively for Winnipeg tonight, Luis Allen, the other half of the battery. Sharundle to Casters at first. The aforementioned second baseman is Price Kendall. Jose Duran at short. Amos Ramon is at third. First pitch to Mallow. Is in there for a strike. Then Kyle Day, Chris Roberson, and Josh Mazzola left to right in the field. That's how the Gold Eyes shake down, wearing white tops, white pants tonight. Fastball is swung on and fouled back, and it's nothing to two. 
and Quebec in a gray top, gray pant, and some yellow trimmed lettering on the front with Quebec on the front. Nothing and two to Jonathan Mallow, batting 287. Nine homers, 48 driven in. The 0 2 pitch. Fastball is high, one ball and two strikes. So Allen catching DeCaster at first, Kendall at second, Duran at short, Ramon at third, then Day, Roberson, and Mazzola left to right in the field. One, two. Breaking ball swung on, pounded out toward third. Two hopper, up with it is Amos, and he'll throw across and right on the money to DeCaster. And there's two away. So nice play by Amos Ramon. I know at third base you always want to get the ball early and make that play and get right into the game. And Ramon does that. Two away for Sebastian Boucher. And Boucher will step in from the left-hand side. Hitting 341. Ten homers and 54 driven in. And the first pitch with two away from Privet. Curve in there for a strike. Beautiful pitch. Let's have a look at the weather report tonight. Brought to you by 360 Winnipeg.ca. Winnipeg's visual directory, the 0-1. Curve, swung on, hit the center. Back goes Roberson. Lots of room. Turns, faces us. Leaps at the last second. Just for effect and show, I think. And makes the catch. And that's it. Quebec goes 1-2-3. de trois zeros across the board. Quebec comes away empty. The Gold Eyes are coming to bat when we return to downtown on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. The Greenwood Inn and Suites invites you to make it your home base for an overnight stay, your next meeting, or social event. You can even make it a home run with all-day dining or a Sunday brunch at Dalton's. Enjoy the first-class service and facilities the Greenwood Inn and Suites has to offer. To book your next day, visit the website at greenwoodwinnipeg.com or call 775-9889. 775-9889. The Greenwood Inn and Suites, putting the friendly in friendly Manitoba. Summer is something to enjoy, but remember, drinking any alcohol and driving don't mix. Drinking and driving puts you and others in danger. Your best bet is a designated driver who has had no alcohol. Enjoy your summer, but whatever you do, don't drink and drive. To keep Manitoban safe behind the wheel, police are increasing enforcement near you. Watch for them. A message from Manitoba Public Insurance. Recycle everywhere. It's a swing and he popped it up. Has he got it? The ball was caught, but not by a glove, Mike. Looks like it landed inside a recycle everywhere bin. I'd recognize that little blue bird anywhere. They're everywhere these days. Beverage container recycling is expanding in Manitoba. Look for Recycle Everywhere bins at Shaw Stadium and other public places. Visit us at RecycleEverywhere.ca. Recycle Everywhere. Bottom of the first inning, we welcome you back. My name is Paul Edmonds. Glad to have you along. Right across the network, Swan River to Nipawa and to Gimli and to Winnipeg and all points in between and from border to border, Saskatchewan to Ontario and down to the U.S. border. Welcome. Gold Eyes will send Price Kendall, Chris Roberson, Sherundle to Caster, then John Weber to DH, Louise Allen, Josh Mazzola, Kyle Day, Jose Duran, Amos Ramon. One through nine for Rick Forty's 37 and 24 Gold Eyes winners of two straight. Lights are on here on an overcast evening, but it's warm and humid. And like I said, we'll give you the weather report. We we're about to do that before the last out was recorded in a one, two, three top of the first for Quebec. Here's Kendall, one for three on Sunday. Had the day off yesterday, first pitch is a little bit low in and out of the glove of Jose Josue Pele and it's ball one. Price batting 289. No homers, 25 driven in. And the 1-0 pitch is a fastball that's on the outside edge for a strike and it's one and one. Defensively for Quebec tonight, Josue Pele, the other half of the battery. Rennie Levrevic, the 1-1 is inside. Two balls and one strike. Rennie Leverett is at first base. Josh Califamina is at second. Jeff Helps 
at short. Jonathan Mallow at third. The pitch is in there for a strike, and it's two and two. Kendall doing a good job here of seeing what Carl Jelena, the pitcher, the right-hander for Quebec, has. And now you'll see pitch number five, the 2-2. Swung on, ground ball, back up the middle to his left. Helps, nice pickup, and a twirl, and a fire to first base from behind second. And Kendall is out. And there's one away. And the batter is Chris Roberson, who was the player of the week, positional player of the week, announced yesterday for the American Association, batted over 500, hit in all seven games of the Gold Eyes road trip, batting 323 coming in, a switch hitter. So he bats from the left side against the right-handed throwing Carl Jelena, the pitch. Swung on, lined out to short, caught by Helps, two away. So two away, and here's Sherundle DeCaster. Men in the outfield, Robert Wagner, Sebastian Boucher, and Steve Brown. And that's the defensive alignment for Quebec tonight. Ellie catching, Leverett at first. Colafamina is at second. Helps at short. Mallow at third. Wagner, Boucher, and Brown. Here's DeCaster with two away in the bottom of this first inning. And the pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. Weather report for 360 Winnipeg.ca, Winnipeg's visual directory. To win tickets to upcoming Gold Eyes games, go to 360Winnipeg.ca and enter to win the 0-1. Swung on and fouled the plate. Nothing in too quickly to DeCaster. Overcast here in the city. It is 29 degrees Celsius, 84 Fahrenheit. Humidity at 41%. The 0-2. Swung on, chopper out toward third, but foul. And it stays at nothing in two to the Gold Eyes right-handed swinging first baseman. Wind is not much of a factor. They tell us south-southeast at 15 but it's barely moving any of the flags in the ballpark. Nothing in two to Sherundle DeCaster. So a very nice night here. 29 or 84. The pitch. Swung on, line, back up the middle, and again diving out his helps up off his feet or to his feet, and he throws to first and makes all three plays on all three outs. He dove out in behind the bag and in shallow center, caught the baseball, got back to his feet, and made a fire strike throw to first base to get Sherundle to Caster, and that is it for the Gold Eyes here in the bottom of the first. They go one, two, three. We'll go to the second. Zeroes across the board. No score. Through one on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Knowledge is power. Get the power you need to succeed at CDI College. With relevant, focused career training for business, healthcare, art and design, legal, technology, and more. Learn more. Earn more. Get more out of life with a career you love, not just a job. Find your passion at cdicollege.ca. CDI College. We change lives through education. CDI. I. I. Love love it. it. And And we we will will succeed. I've been drinking Coca-Cola since I was 13. My mom, she packed one with my lunch every day. Been drinking it ever since. Until yesterday, that is. I tried a Pepsi at the Ultimate Taste Challenge. Turns out I like Pepsi. Who knows what else I've been wrong about? Heck, I might like that gangster rap. You'd be surprised who prefers the taste of Pepsi. Ooh, that sounds good. Go to Pepsi Canada on Facebook to find out where you can take the ultimate taste challenge. You make a tea time, and Mother Nature goes... I don't think so. (laughs) Good thing there's the Golf Dome. With five virtual golf simulators, you can play on courses from around the world. Get your practice in at a driving range where you pay by time, not by bucket. And save 40% with summer rates. It's fun stuff. And no crazy... (laughs) Weather. The Golf Dome, the bubble off Sterling Lion Parkway. Don't forget to like us on Facebook for specials and coupons. You're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Avalon and the Golf Dome. Oh, we go to the top of the second. Randy Leverett will lead it off. First baseman, right-handed stick. For Quebec, we're scoreless. Leverett, Pelly, and Brown. Out of the order, Privet's first pitch. The fastball that's right down the chute for a strike. And the top of the second is underway. Tomorrow, Ace Walker versus John Mariotti. A couple of right-handers. 
And then a noon start, the final game on Thursday. Change up is inside, one ball, one strike. Leverett hitting 348, leading this team. And batting average, he has seven homers, 36 driven in. Batting cleanup, the 1 1. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball, and it's 1 and 2. Quebec does not send biographical information, nor do they have hometowns for the players on their roster, so we're a little bit shorthanded when it comes to information on these guys. One ball, two strikes. You can tell from the roster a lot of returning players from last year's championship team. They've won the last couple of years, have Le Capital, the 1-2. Fastball, cold third strike in the outside corner. And Leverett will go down looking. First strikeout tonight for Todd Privet. And that first strikeout brought to you by Manitoba Hydro. Manitoba Hydro reminds you to be safe around electricity. Folks, one strike, and you're out. Here's Josue Pelly. Right-handed batter. Hitting 293. First pitch from Todd Privet from Salt Lake City. He's a fastball right down Broadway for a strike. Just a reminder, folks, that you can get in on the winning on the Home Run Sports Home Run Inning. Always do it here in the top of the second. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Nothing in two. Yeah, dropping a home run sports at Dallas Seigneury Boulevard. Bishop Grandin and entered a win in the home run sports home run inning. Here's how it works. If a gold eye player hits a home run in any inning, we pick your name that day. You'll receive an Easton prize package courtesy of Easton Sports. The 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball inside one and two. But you must hear your name on this program in order to know that you're a winner. And afterward, you must contact Home Run Sports within 30 days to claim your prize. You can do that in person or by calling 255-7687. Well, one home run from Sunday's last game, the one-two pitch swung on and Q shot it off the end of the bat, rolled up the first base line, fielded behind the bag by DeCaster. He makes the unassisted play with a couple of steps forward. And Pelly is retired for the second out. While Amos Ramon hit his second home run of the year, a three-run shot in a six-run eighth inning on Sunday evening. And he made Matthew Snow a winner on the home run sports home run inning. Matthew Snow. You are our winner tonight on the home run sports home run inning. You've got 30 days to contact home run sports to claim your prize. We do it every game, top of the second. The home run sports home run inning. Here's Steve Brown, first pitch inside ball one. So Matthew Snow, our winner on the home run sports home run inning, brought to you by Home Run Sports. We've got you covered for prospect to pro. Bishop Grandin, one block west of Lajamodier. Home run sports, get ready for your game. 1-0 is low and inside, two balls and no strikes. For Steve Brown, he's hitting 300 right on the button. Nine homers and 33 driven in. This Quebec team has hit 56 homers this year. The Gold Eyes, 41. The pitch swung on, fouled back, and that goes to my right. And into the seats. Two balls and one strike. Yeah, 56 homers to the Gold Eyes 41. So they've hit 15 more. Only one guy on this Quebec team with double digits, and that's Boucher with 10. Gold Eyes do not have a double digit home run hitter yet. Pitch is swung on and missed, and it's 2 and 2. Closest they have is Chris Roberson with nine. Then Josh Mazzola with eight. Shrenel DeCaster with seven. Two and two to Steve Brown, right-handed stick. Lights are on here in downtown. And the 2-2 pitch. Change up, swung on, foul back. Now the infield looks real good. Foul territory looks real good. The outfield, well... For you folks with the radios here tonight, they had that Skrillex contest or concert. Skrillex concert when Gold Eyes were on the road trip and 
Well, it did a little bit of damage to the outfield grass in right center. And Don Ferguson, the hedge ground, ke ground keeper here, is he's punched it, seated it, and done everything he can. Now it's just up to Mother Nature again. The 2-2 is high. Three balls and two strikes. Came back with a fastball, did Privet. To help grow some grass again. I mean, the field still looks real good, except for that spot. Three balls, two strikes. And the payoff pitch to Brown. Breaking ball just missed inside. And it's a walk to Steve Brown. Boy, that was a curveball that was close. First walk issued by Privet, the first base runner for Quebec tonight. To that point, John Privet had retired five straight. Here's Robert Wagner. And he'll stand in from the left-hand side and look down to Pat Scalabrini, the manager of Quebec and also the third base coach. No score. We're in the top of the second. Glad to have you along tonight. Game one of this three-game series. Game one of a six-game homestand for Winnipeg. First pitch. Breaking ball. Missed outside. Ball one. One ball. No strikes. Wagner hitting 248. Three homers and 16 driven in. Rivet comes set, lefty-lefty here. Checks the runner, the 1-0. Fastball right down the middle for a strike. 1-1. One one. <laughs> Wagner, a left fielder, batting for the left side. Steve Brown is 16 of 21 on the base paths. Being held on by DeCaster over there. And a throw goes over from Privet, and DeCaster had to leap around the base runner to make the catch because the throw was a little offline. One ball, one strike to Robert Wagner. Healthy gathering here tonight, too. Good crowd. Another throw goes over to first, and again, DeCaster had to come off the base to make the catch. So while Todd Privet has been accurate around home plate, the two throws over to first base so far have almost gone awry over there. And a couple of good athletic plays made by DeCaster. One ball, one strike, the pitch to Wagner. Fastball swung on and fouled back. And that will get out of play. And some folks waiting for it to bounce back off the roof, and this one does not come back. One and two. To Robert Wagner. No score in the baseball game. Two away in the inning. Runner at first. Quebec flew here via Air Canada yesterday. So a fairly easy trip for them. One ball, two strikes. Privet will come set. Allen sets up outside. The pitch. Right there for a called third strike. Good changeup. And it froze Robert Wagner. Second strikeout tonight for Todd Privet. And that's it for Quebec at the top of the second. No runs, no hits, one left. Bottom two is next. So is trivia. We're scoreless in downtown on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. We asked Winnipeggers what makes Fergie's Fish and Chips at the Forks so good. Every order is made fresh while you wait. Oh, if you love authentic English-style fish and chips, Fergie's is the real deal. The fries are fresh cut from Manitoba potatoes. They're excellent. They only use non-hydrogenated oil, a healthier choice. It's just so good. Fergie's is fishalicious. <laughs> <laughs> Fergie's Fish and Chips at the Forks. The place for great fish and chips. Fishalicious! Business owners, do you know where your fleet vehicles are? I have a good idea. With a GPS tracking system from Sirius Technologies, you'll know their exact locations. But I trust my employees. It's more than that. GPS tracking gives you a bird's eye view of your business with real numbers to measure productivity. Imagine adding one more job a day or cutting idling time by 50%. Sirius Technologies. Data is power. It's time to get serious. For your free one-month trial, visit SiriusTechnologies.ca. Thinking forward means challenging your business to grow. It's about making hard decisions today to ensure a better tomorrow. 
at MNP will help your business think forward by being a partner that understands your business challenges and providing industry-specific thought leaders to help take you to the next level. Think forward. Contact your local MNP office or visit us online at mnp.ca. Bottom of the second, we welcome you back. No score, John Weber will lead it off, followed by Luis Allen and Josh Mazzola. Weber missed the last six games with a left ankle problem, and here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss for strike one. Rolled that ankle in game one of the road trip in Lincoln. And boy, was it puffed up, swollen, black and blue. The 0-1 inside, one ball, one strike. Weber will be followed by Luis Allen and Josh Mazzola here. Heart of the order against Carl Jelena. One ball, one strike. The pitch is outside, 2-1. and one. John was 2-3 for three in his last game before having to come out with that ankle injury. He has both ankles taped tonight. The 2-1 is outside and high, 3-1. And, and did say that he's fine to DH tonight and do a little running, but probably in the next couple of days by the weekend, he should be able to play the field again. The pitch is swung on and fouled away, and it's 3-2. and two. In the meantime, Kyle Day plays in left field after the Gold Eyes dealt Rich Carpenter to Sioux Falls. I guess technically on Sunday, but officially yesterday. Weber batting 316, four homers, 31 driven in. No score. We're in the bottom of the second. We'll play some trivia here in our trivia inning. And the payoff pitch. Swung on, ground ball right side, and up with it is Califamina, and he throws to first base, and John Weber is out number one. And here's Luis Allen. Well, trivia brought to you by the Place Louis Riel, sweet hotel in downtown Winnipeg. Place Louis Riel specializing in spacious executive suites. Contest is open to those that haven't won in the last 30 days. Should be fairly easy tonight. Here's Allen. He was 11 for 28 on the road trip. And the first pitch to the Gold Eyes catcher is on the outside edge for a strike. Up for grabs tonight, a pair of Gold Eye tickets to a future home game. You'll also be eligible to win the grand prize of a weekend stay at the Place Louis at the end of the season, the 0-1. Swung on, chopped out toward third, foul before it got to the bag. Right along that line. Nothing in two to Allen. And the number to call if you think you know the answer tonight. 780-1290-780-1290. Nothing in two to Allen. Three homers, 34 driven in. And the 0-2 from Jelena, the right-hander. Oh, way inside, and Luis just got hit. Right on the wrist. The left wrist. And here comes Trainer. Shane's a Debiak. So, hit by pitch. The concern is, is Luis all right to continue? Looked to me like it was wrist and not hand. And you could kind of hear it. And Luis is going to be all right. Rick Forney comes down from the third base coach's box, puts his arm around his catcher, and they start to walk three men abreast. Trainer, runner now, and field manager. And down toward first base, and Allen will stay in the game. So the Gold Eyes, good news there, will have their first base runner on a hit batsman. And Josh Mazzola, the batter. Now the question tonight is this. Tonight the Gold Eyes are playing the first Canadian team in a regular season game since 2007 as they host the Quebec Capitale. 
which was the last Canadian team Winnipeg played before tonight. 780-129-0780-1290. Area code 204 if you think you know the answer. Tonight, the Gold Eyes are playing the first Canadian team in a regular season game since 2007 as they host Quebec. Which was the last Canadian team Winnipeg played before tonight? Here's Josh Mazzola. He rides a 19-game hitting streak into this one. Looking to turn 20 in front of the home crowd. And Shellano goes to work from the stretch. No score. First pitch is low and inside. Ball one. Mazzola won for four on Sunday. Extended the hitting streak with an RBI single. To 19 straight. One ball, no strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch, and it's one and one. I have Mazzola's 19-gamer is the third longest in franchise history. Of course, the longest, 27. Then last year, he had Cody Kaiser with 22. And now Mazzola with 19. Brian Duba at 98 had a 19-gamer as well. One ball, one strike. Apparently, we've got an answer on trivia already. I mean, we just lobbed it right in there. The one-two. Swung on and fell back on that slider. And it's a ball and two strikes as that ball gets out of play. I mean, we are basically just putting it on top of the tee and you hit it. That's how easy it was tonight. Winner of the answer coming up in the bottom of the seventh inning. We're scoreless here. One out, one on. Neither team with a hit. 1-2 pitch is low, 2-2 two two to Mazzola. Josh batting 301, 8 homers, 38 driven in, hitting 6th in the order, playing right field tonight. 9 for 30 on the road trip. 300 right on the button. The 2-2, two two. swing and a miss, he got fooled on that, and he's down on strikes. So, first strikeout tonight for Carl Jelena, and there's two away for Kyle Day. And Day will step up from the left-hand side. And Kyle batting 311, three homers, 19 driven in. And Kyle two for four on that Sunday evening, and... A scorching Sioux Falls, South Dakota first pitch. Way inside, ball one. Game time temperature was 38 Celsius on Sunday. It was 100 Fahrenheit. And that topped the trip. That was just overall hot. Nice night here tonight. A little muggy. The 1-0 is high and inside. Throw down to first base, and it got away from Leverett now into foul territory. He will scramble with the first baseman and find it. Luis Allen got kind of tangled up with Leverett, trying to get back to the base. Leverett on not a great throw from Josue Pelli, the catcher. Tried to knock it down, almost looked like shades of that World Series with Ken Herbeck that year at the Metrodome. Or he dumped Ron Gant. And the pitch is swung on and fouled away. Two balls and a strike to Kyle Day. Anyway, Luis Allen, who doesn't run very well, decided not to go to second base as the ball wasn't that far away from first. It was game one of that 91 World Series between Minnesota and Atlanta, the pitch, swung on, and that's filleted over third down the left field line. Foul ball. Still two and two. To Kyle Day. Here's what it said. Lonnie Smith of the Braves was on second base with two outs. Teammate Ron Gant ripped a single to left. Twins pitcher Kevin Tappany took the relay throw from left fielder Dan Gladden and rifled the ball to first baseman Ken Herbeck. Gant raced back to first, scrambled to keep his balance, and went tumbling over Herbeck, 
who held the ball in his glove. The 2-2 is inside 3-2. and two. Umpire Drew Cable ruled Gant out. Gant and Braves manager Bobby Cox argued heatedly that Herbeck had pulled Gant off the bag, but the call stood. Some suggested that Ken Herbeck kind of bulldog Ron Gant down to the ground and kept him away from first base to apply the tag. 3-2, swung on and popped up. In behind first base and right there is Leverett. He'll make the catch and the gold eyes are done. It remains one of the most memorable and controversial plays in World Series history. And the Twins went on to gain, win the game, game two by a score of 3-2. Later won the series four games to three to become the 1991 World Series champs. Well, the gold eyes are done here in the bottom of the second. We've got a trivia winner. No runs, no hits, one left. We're hitless in this one. We'll go to the third, scoreless as well, on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Hello, Ken Plain here. If you're looking for a foundation contractor that you can trust, go with Avalon. But don't just take my word for it. For over 40 years, people in Winnipeg and surrounding areas have gone with Avalon for their foundation issues. So you know that you are dealing with professionals. To learn more, log on to avalonwinnipeg.ca. the name you trust. Go with Avalon Construction. Teamwork wins ball games, and it's made Saper Agencies an even stronger player in the insurance business. Recently, Saper Agencies teamed up with Canada's largest personal property insurance company, Intact Insurance. So now, when life throws you a curveball, they'll get you back in the game faster than ever. Are you over 50 with no claims for three years? Then you could score big league savings on home insurance, including no deductible on your first claim. Call Saper Agencies for details. 694-6787. I'm Larry McIntosh, California to Winnipeg, 2,966 kilometers. Portage to Winnipeg, 85 kilometers. Which vegetables do you think are fresher? Peak of the market, the vegetables less traveled, and that's a good thing. Very best from Manitoba, and it's peak. Peak of the market. You're listening to Winnipeg Gold Eyes Baseball, live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Sirius Technologies. Let's get back to the action with Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the third. Ronnie Rodriguez, the DH, will lead it off. Followed by Josh Colophobia. And Jeff Helps, 8, 9, and 1. No score through two. First pitch to Rodriguez. It's outside from Privet, ball one. Rodriguez batting 265, a right-handed stick. One ball, no strikes. And the pitch. Inside, 2-0. Privet a walk, two strikeouts tonight. Rodriguez a home run, seven driven in. The 2-0. Swung on, that's hit high, pretty deep to left field. But Kyle Day is right there, and he'll make the catch. He barely had to move on that, except for half a step to his right. One down. And here's Josh Colafamina. Right-handed swinging second baseman, batting 244. Now let's have a look at the Manitoba Blue Cross out-of-town scoreboard. Manitoba Blue Cross, the color of carrying. And first to the American Association. First pitch is inside ball one. Everything like this one under the lights in the American Association. And all games in the majors tonight. Our evening starts as well. The 1-0. Inside two balls and no strikes. Fargo leading Sioux Falls 5-0 in the second. In Fargo as they start three-game series. The 2-0 pitch. Right down the middle for a strike, and it's 2-1. Good fastball from Privet. Gary is at home tonight. They lead Sioux City 1-0. That's in the second. 
Amarillo in front of Wichita down in Kansas. 2-0 for the Sox over the Wingnuts in the second. 2-1. Fastball swung on, bounced out to short. Oh, boy, under the glove of Jose Duran. And in the left field. That'll be an error. So, E6. And back to the top of the order in Jeff Phelps. Now Duran went to his right, got there, leaned down, but with a backhand, didn't lean down far enough. And he commits his fourth error. And his 11th game as a gold eye and his 21st of the year. And Jeff helps 0 for 1 tonight. Bounced out to the right side. Lefty, lefty matchup. First pitch is outside, ball one. Brad Prairie, El Paso, scoreless in the second. Kansas City and St. Paul, scoreless in the second. And Lincoln at Laredo, just underway. One ball, no strikes. One away, one on. The pitch, swing and a miss. And a high fastball, and it's 2-2. Two two. Jeff helps, 0 for 1. He bounced out as I said, to the right side, and a play made by Bryce Kendall, but we got to see the speed of this shortstop, and he's made a couple of decent defensive plays already tonight as well, especially in that first inning. 1-1. Fastball is just outside. 2-1. Helps batting 293. Colafamina is 16 of 21 on the base paths. Rivet comes set. The 2 1. Fastball swung on and fouled back. And that will find the roof. 2 and 2. Tomorrow, back on the air at 6 30 on our originating station, TSN 1290. For game two of this series, Ace Walker. And John Mariotti. And then back on the network on Sunday when the Gold Eyes conclude this homestand. The last of three against Sioux Falls. Pitch is swung on, foul back, sky sweet, back down below. Still two and two to Jeff Helps. And again, hi to you folks tonight on CJ Radio, Swan River, 107.5 FM. Mipua, 97.1. And Gimli, 107.5. And hello to you folks on the World Wide Web, wherever you're hanging your hat tonight. 2-2. Two -two. Curve, swung on, punched out toward left center. Coming hard is Roberson. He'll have to take that on a hop. And we have our first hit of the night. And Jeff helps as the game's first single. And there's two on for Jonathan Malo, who is 0 for 1. He bounced out to third. So, two on for Quebec and one out. No score in the baseball game. Again, we have a winner on trivia, winner on the answer coming up in the bottom of seven. And Jonathan Mallow standing from the right side, hitting 287. Eyes looking for something on the ground here again. Maybe turn two. Turned a couple of double plays on Sunday. In Sioux Falls, in fact, in consecutive innings, sixth and seventh to end the innings. First pitch. Breaking ball, low and inside, ball one. Malo, nine home runs and 48 driven in. This Quebec team, 41 and 20 on the year. One ball, no strikes. The pitch, low and inside. Throw down to second. That's going to be caught diving in front of second base by Kendall. So needless to say, Colafamina got back in in time. By comparison, Quebec at 41 and 20. 
There is no team in the 13-team American Association that has 40 wins, although Grand Prairie does have 39. But Quebec at 41 and 20. The 2-0 is low, three balls and no strikes. Probably serves up maybe some comparisons of how good Quebec is or what it says about the Can-Am League and the difference between Quebec and the other five teams. Three balls and no strikes to Jonathan Malo. The 3-0 is inside, ball four. So it ends up being a four-pitch walk, and the bases all of a sudden are loaded. And now Bill Pulsifer is going to go out to have a little chat, calls for time. And the pitching coach will saunter out from the Gold Eyes third base dugout. Everybody from the infield will assemble, and Sebastian Boucher will be the batter. He flew out to center field his first trip. So bases loaded here with one away. And Todd Privet walks his second of the night. And we get a mound meeting. Don't forget, you can celebrate your birthday in style, Gold Eye style. Party goers receive a souvenir, hot dog, potato chips, and soft drink, plus a birthday cake and mini donuts to enjoy in the stands, courtesy of Little Orbits and Mini Donuts. The guest of honor also receives a birthday card, Gold Eye's baseball full dough with Goldie. Happy birthday announcement made during the game and more. Parties are just $15 per person based on minimum of 10 per party. Call the Gold Eyes office, 982 base. 2273 to birth to book your birthday bash. And here's Sebastian Boucher, left-handed batter, with the bases loaded. First pitch. Curve outside, ball one. Well, that's five straight balls thrown here by Todd Privet. One ball, no strikes. And the 1-0. Fastball is low. It got away from Allen. And Allen will track it down halfway back toward the screen. And Colafamina will stay put at third base. So the Gold Eyes get away with one there. And the score remains the same. No score. But the count 2-0 on Sebastian Boucher. And Boucher standing back in from the left side. He flew out to center field. Now that error is kind of looming over Winnipeg right now. The 2-0 is a fastball that's right down the chute for a strike, and it's 2-1. And one. Two balls and one strike. Lefty, lefty. Privet working from the stretch. The 2-1 pitch. Fastball swung on, fouled to my left, and back down below. And that is a souvenir. 2-2. Two two. Old eyes are in a jam here. In this third inning, we're scoreless, but Quebec has a base runner at all three bases with one away. And a guy with 10 home runs at the plate. 2-2 two two pitch. Curve, swung on, hit back up the middle by a diving Kendall into center field. One run is into score. Up with the ball is Roberson. Two runs were into score. And it's a two-run single for Sebastian Boucher. And it's 2-0 Quebec. So Califomina scores, help scores. And Roberson up with the ball holds Mallow to second base. And Sebastian Boucher drives in his 55th and 52nd of the year. And Rennie Leverett, the batter. So two hits in the inning for Quebec off of Todd Privet. And the error is factored in as well. First pitch. Swung on, that is clubbed high, pretty deep to right center, but there is going to be Roberson. He'll make the catch for the second out. Fire it back to the infield, and there's two away for Josue Pelly. And Josue Pelly, 0 for 1 tonight. 
And a right-handed batter. As he bounced down that first base line, and DeCaster made a unassisted play on it for the first out, or for the second out of the second inning. First pitch, swung on, line down the left field line, foul. First pitch swinging and a hard hit ball by Pelly, but foul down that left field line. Still two on, two nothing Quebec here. And they're looking for a little more with two away. A pitch from Privet. Inside, just got him hit. And Pelly tried to get out of the way, and he gets hit by a pitch. So Todd Privet filling up the categories here. Walks, strikeouts, and a hit by pitch. As he hits Josue Pelly. Bases are loaded again for Steve Brown, who drew a walk. Two nothing Quebec on two hits. Brown is the eighth man to hit in this inning. Bases loaded for the second time in the frame and Privet will go to work from the full windup. First pitch to Steve Brown. And he pushes a bunt. Foul at home plate. What are you trying to do there? I have no idea why you would do that. I mean, there's two outs. The bases are loaded. All the catcher has to do is make the play on you and the inning's over. It's not like you're going to suicide squeeze yourself. Strike one. And the 0-1. Curve in there for a strike, and it's nothing in two. Brown drew a walk his first trip. Count went full, and he took a curveball like that one just inside and drew ball four. That was last inning. Nothing in two to Steve Brown. Old Eyes trying to get out of a jam again. The 0-2. Fastball wide, one ball and two strikes. 2-0 Quebec, two runs have scored here in this third inning. Brown batting 300 right on the button coming in. And the one-two pitch. Curve, swung on, line to left. That'll drop for a base hit and score two more runs. Up with the ball is Day. His throw goes to third. Now they're going to get one of the Quebec runners in a rundown. And Kendall is going to apply a tag, and the runner's going to be out. But two runs will score, and they get Sebastian Boucher in the rundown. And he gets thrown out. It goes 7-6-4. And that is it. Although Steve Brown will get a two-run single. And Quebec has a four-run third inning. And a big factor is that error on Jose Duran. Four runs, three hits, an error, one left. We'll go to the bottom of the third. 4 nothing Quebec on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. What makes Tavern United Manitoba's number one sports pub? Service second to none. Food that's right on point. And value that's big league all the way. And this summer, during Tavern United's Your Team, Your Tickets promotion, win weekly prizes and qualify to win season tickets to your Winnipeg Gold Eyes, Blue Bombers, and of course, the Jets. So get your friends together for some frothy fun, fabulous food, and guaranteed good time at your New World Sports Pub, Tavern United. Summer is the season for long road trips with the family. Are we there yet? And if you want to make it there, it's time for you to talk to Cal. No matter if your visit is for a tire rotation, an alignment, or even a basic oil service, all your visits come with a free mechanical inspection. Make sure your vehicle is ready for the high temperatures and heavy use that summer driving brings. Talk to Cal at any one of Cal Tire's five convenient Winnipeg locations. You gotta roll with me. 
Welcome back. How was the vacation? It was fine. Why is everything so different in here? We upgraded all our office equipment to new technology from Rico through Milne Office Systems. How much more is this costing us? After Milne did a document needs analysis, they showed us how we could increase our productivity and decrease our costs. So where's my new copier? It's not a copier. It's a Rico. Visit MilneOffice.com to arrange for your own customized Rico digital workflow solution today. Now we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Not a good one for Winnipeg. The error cost them. Well, not four necessarily. They gave up four. They might have given up some runs anyway, but ends up costing them two for sure. Jose Duran will lead it off, followed by Amos Ramon and Price Kendall. The Gold Eyes don't have a hit yet. First pitch of the bottom of three, right down the middle for a strike. So eight, nine, and one in the order. Duran one for four on Sunday. Carl Jelena delivers the 0-1. Swung on, look out, onto the concourse, and foul. Nothing in two on half a swing by Jose Duran. We're in the bottom of the third inning. Glad to have you along tonight. 4 nothing. Quebec on three hits. And the Gold Eyes have made the lone error, and it was costly. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on, chopper, left side, fielded by Jonathan Mallow, and a throw to first, and there's one away. And Amos Ramon, the batter. Some American League scores tonight on the Manitoba Blue Cross out of town scoreboard. Tampa Bay leading Baltimore 3 to 1. That's in the seventh. Adam Jones does have a home run for the Orioles to account for their lone run as 23rd of the year. Brooks Conrad has smacked his second for Tampa Bay. First pitch to Ramon. Inside and high, ball one. Cleveland leading Detroit 2 0. That's in the sixth. Tigers have won five in a row. That game being played in Cleveland tonight. The 1 0. Swung on, fouled back, and it's one ball, one strike. Oakland have won five in a row. They lead Toronto 2-1 to one in T.O. tonight. Derek Norris a home run for the A's is third. Travis Schneider is second for the Blue Jays. 2-1 A's over the Jays in the sixth. The 1-1. Breaking ball in there for a strike, and it's 1-2. and two. No score. Boston and Texas, that's in the third. Red Sox looking to end a four-game losing skid. And the 1-2 pitch. Swung on and popped up. Foul territory, first base side, and they can't make the catch. Leverett came in from first. The catcher, and Pelly was there, but the pitcher, Shelena, also got involved. He should have stayed out of it. They might have had a better chance. Instead, Nobody can make the catch, even with Leverett diving. And it falls down to the earth, and Amos Ramon will get another opportunity here. Chicago White Sox lead Minnesota 1-0 in the third. And some later starts tonight, 9.05 Kansas City at Los Angeles. Will Smith for the Royals. Garrett Richards for the Halos. 9.10 Yankees at Seattle. Freddie Garcia for New York. Felix Hernandez for Seattle, the pitch. Swung on, wrapped left side foul. One and two to Amos Ramon. One out, nobody on, and we're back leading four nothing. Amos was five for 21 on the road trip. One, two. He's just outside, two and two. Came back with a fastball to Jelena. Amos had a three-run home run on Sunday and capped that six-run eighth inning. Two-two. Inside, three balls, two strikes. Eighth inning in the National League tonight. Milwaukee leading 3-1. Zach Greinke, the subject of many trade rumors, a home run tonight is first. Pitch is swung on, fouled back, and it's 3-2. and two. 
And Ryan Braun has homered as well for Milwaukee. His 27th. They lead Milwaukee, or they they lead Philadelphia three to one. The three-two pitch is high and outside ball four, and the Gold Eyes have their second base runner of the night. So one on free pass, first walk issued by Jelena. And Price Kendall, the batter. Again, Milwaukee leading Philadelphia 3-1 to in the eighth. Greinke and Braun have home runs. Chicago Cubs lead Pittsburgh 5-1. to That's in the eighth. And that's in Pittsburgh tonight. Starlin Castro is ninth. Alfonso Soriano is 19th. Both for the Cubs. Garrett Jones is 14th home run of the year for Pittsburgh. First pitch to Price is in there for a strike. Washington, winners of three straight, lead the New York Mets 5-1 in the seventh in Queens tonight. Mets have lost four in a row. Adam LaRoche has a home run for the Nats, his 17th. The 0-1, swung on, broken bat, bounced out towards short, cut off there by the third baseman, Mallow, and he throws to second to get, excuse me, to first to get Bryce Kendall, and that's the only out they record with Amos Ramon advancing to second base. And Chris Roberson lined one out. His first trip, first pitch swinging. The shortstop, Jeff Helps. Seventh inning, Atlanta leading Miami 4-3. Jose Reyes has a home run for Miami, his sixth. First pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. Cincinnati and Houston are scoreless in the fourth. Reds have won five in a row. And Dodgers and St. Louis are scoreless in Missouri tonight in the third. Los Angeles has won five straight. The 0-1 he is outside, throw down to second. And boy, is Amos gonna be out by a mile over there at second base. Not good baseball here tonight on the part of the Winnipeg Gold Eyes. Picked off, it goes 1-4. Check that, 2-4. And we'll go to the bottom of the third inning. And the Gold Eyes ran themselves out of an inning right there. No runs, no hits, nobody left. We'll go to the fourth. 4-0 four Quebec on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Most of us lead busy lives. That's why hiring a trained real estate professional, a realtor, is the way to go when buying or selling a home. A realtor knows the local market and the process involved to help you achieve a successful outcome in the most important financial transaction of your life. Pick up a free copy of the Winnipeg Real Estate News and see their mobile-friendly website to access the public's number one portal to all the current MLS listings. TheWinnipegRealEstateNews.com What if I told you that chiropractic care is highly effective in treating the injuries sustained in car accidents and that the costs associated with your chiropractic care and recovery are fully covered through Manitoba Public Insurance? And what if I told you all you have to do is concentrate on getting well? Would you be interested? Manitoba chiropractors are passionate about improving the lives of all Manitobans, helping injured motorists gain relief from their pain and suffering. Manitoba chiropractors making life better. It's Ken, and I'm just not going to do a regular commercial here. I'll tell you what Ken would do. Ken would read the whole ad on this here Kenwood two-way radio from Prairie Mobile. It's tough. Watch. See? Kenwood two-way radios will keep your business connected without the cell phone bill. Scramble features, and did I mention... It's tough. Two-way radios from Kenwood. It's what Ken would do, and uh, you should too. After the sale, it's the service that counts. Prairie Mobile, your Kenwood authorized dealer. It's time to get back into the action. Batter up, turn it up. This is Gold Eyes Baseball on TSN 1290. Now back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the fourth inning, and it's been anything but crisp here on the Gold Eyes side. They trail 4 0. First pitch to Robert Wagner. He is outside ball one. He's the only one that didn't hit. In a four-run third for Quebec, the 1-0. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Wagner, Rodriguez, and Cola Femina. 7-8-9. The 2-0 is on the outside edge for a strike. Later starts tonight in the National League. 
8.40. Colorado at Arizona. The 2-1. Swung on, wrapped right side, foul. 2-2. Two two. Cabrera for Colorado tonight. Joe Saunders counters for the Snakes, who have won four in a row. 9-15 tonight, San Diego at San Francisco. Addison Volquez versus Madison Bumgarner. Pitch is swung on and missed. Down on strikes is Wagner. And he's been fanned twice tonight, looking and swinging. Third strikeout for Privet, one away for Ronnie Rodriguez. And Ronnie is 0 for 1 tonight. Okay, coming up, I've kind of double booked myself, but I will have Commissioner Miles Wolf join us in the fifth. And also, Therese Conroy from the fan club coming up a little bit later just to talk about the road trip. Pitch is swung on and hit to right center field. Right there is Mazzola into the gap, and he'll reach up with one hand and make the catch for the second out. And Josh Colafamina will be the batter here at the top of the fourth. Colafamina reached on an error in the third, the only error of the baseball game, and ended up scoring. Walk factored into that inning, a hit batsman. And all three hits for Quebec came in that four-run third. First pitch is low, ball one. Olives are here for three against Quebec, and then Sioux Falls comes to town. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, then back down on the road, the 1-0 is in there for a strike. Monday off, and then next week, Gold Eyes are in Kansas City and Sioux City. The 1-1. Swung on, chopper out towards short. Fielded by Duran coming in on two hops. Throws to first, and that is that for Quebec in the top of the fourth. Well, good news for the Gold Eyes. They sit down. Le Capital in order and have a quick one, two, three, top of the fourth. We'll see if they can get on the stick here in the bottom of the inning when we come back. Quebec leads at 4 nothing in downtown Winnipeg on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Yep! There's lots of storage reality stuff on TV these days, but in Winnipeg, real people prefer real storage at Storageville. Why? Two super convenient locations, both with really easy access to your locker. It's absolutely secure and always pristine clean. Learn more about Storageville's many wow factors at storageville.ca and sign up for upcoming auction alerts. Never know what treasures you might find. Storageville, where Winnipeg stores. Yep! The Mediterranean. The Greek. The Mediterranean. The Greek. Even if you can't agree on what kind of pizza to get, at least everyone in Winnipeg agrees where to get it. Santa Lucia Pizza. For the sixth straight year, you and Uptown Magazine readers voted Santa Lucia Best Pizza in Winnipeg. They've also received the Consumer Choice Award for Best Pizza Restaurant. Whether it's dine-in, takeout, or home delivery, Winnipeg agrees. Santa Lucia Pizza is the best in town. You see, the best ingredients make the best of the pizza. Your best friend may be furry, but they're part of your family. So when it comes to your pet's health, they deserve to be treated like family at Animal Hospital of Manitoba. Their experienced professionals provide the very latest in veterinary care. For cats, dogs, ferrets, rabbits, just about any pet you can imagine. And they take pride in educating clients and following up to make sure your best friend is doing just fine. Animal Hospital of Manitoba, 995 Main Street. We care for your pets as if they were our own. Well, we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's Roberson, DeCaster, and Weber for the Gold Eyes against Carl Jelena. 4-0 Quebec. And the Gold Eyes got sloppy in that third inning. Both defensively and offensively. First pitch is on the inside edge for a strike. And Amos got picked off 2-4 to end the inning. And Roberson was at the plate, so we got the baseball mulligan. Here he is again. Pitch is swung on and sent down the first base line. It's a fair ball, and it's going to skip into the right field corner. Digging for second is Roberson. He'll be told to stop with a leadoff double. Valley rip job down that first base line, and Roberson 
looking to Rick Forney to say, hey, do you want me to go to third? And Rick says, nope. Stay right there at second base. No play for Leverett at first. And here is Sherundle DeCaster. And the Gold Eyes. Looking to get a run on the board here. Trailing four zip. DeCaster is 0 for 1 tonight. He bounced out to short. And Carl Jelena comes set to pick off attempt at second base and diving back in is Roberson. You know, those are high risk, high reward type of plays. Don't make the right throw. Not only do you not get the base runner that you're throwing to, but in a case like that at second base, it goes into center field and Roberson easily gets to third. First pitch to DeCaster. Swung on and fouled the plate for strike one. DeCaster is 0 for 1 tonight. He rides a five-game hitting streak into this one. By the way, for Roberson, he extends a hitting streak to eight straight with that double. Nothing in one to Sherundle. From the stretch, the 0-1. Swung on, that is lined out to left field. Well hit, that's going to get down and go to the wall. An easy score for Roberson around third. Digging for second is DeCaster, and he slides in safely with an RBI double. Back-to-back -back doubles for Winnipeg. They're on the board. Quebec leads it 4-1. to one. Hot shot by DeCaster, and now a six-game inning streak. And John Weber, the batter, here at the bottom of this fourth inning. And Weber 0 for 1 tonight. And John missed six games with that ankle problem. First pitch is outside, ball one. It was an awkward accident, an awkward injury as... It was just Weber in the second base bag and Lincoln and nobody else. But you've seen it a lot in baseball, especially guys running at first base. The 1-0 is on the outside edge for a strike. You know, you're running and the base is elevated, right? You're trying to land on it. And if you land on only a piece of it, you can turn your ankle real quick. And that's what John Weber did. One ball, one strike. Four home runs, 31 driven in. Jelena comes set. The 1-1 pitch swung on, and that has popped up. Left center field coming in is Wagner, and the left fielder makes the catch, and there's one away. And the batter is Luis Allen, who was hit by a pitch his first trip. So one in, one on, and one away. In the bottom of this fourth inning. And as we've said before, the Gold Eyes don't have to get all four back in one inning, but they'll get the bats moving a little bit offensively. Hey, a baseball note today, former All-Star catcher Jason Kendall retires. Been around a long time. First pitch, swung on, nubbed off the end of the bat, rolled out toward first, but picked up by the pitcher. And Jelena will underhand to Leverett for the second out. And DeCaster advances to third base, and here's Josh Mazzola. And Mazzola struck out his first trip. Jason Kendall, 38 years old, he announced his retirement today, less than a week after signing a minor league contract with the Northwest Arkansas Naturals, the AA affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. He started his career in 96 in Pittsburgh. A career 288 hitter. Played 2,085 games. First pitch is outside and it got away from the catcher. Goes back toward the screen. The caster will score standing and that'll be on a wild pitch. And the Gold Eyes get their second run. And it's 4-2 to two for Quebec. And it's ball one 
on Mazzola. Josh 0 for 1 tonight. Again, riding a 19-game hitting streak into this one. So two away, two in, and nobody on. The 1-0 pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. Kendall was a Pittsburgh Pirate from 96 to 04. An Oakland A from 05 to 07. One year with the Cubs in 07 as well. The pitch is in there for a strike. Good slider, and it's 1-2. and two. Milwaukee 08 to 09. Kansas City 2010. Fifth all-time baseball history in games caught. 2025. One-two pitch, swing and a miss, and Mazzola down on strikes. Gold eyes are down on outs as well. Second strikeout for Jelena's. He's got Mazzola twice. Gold eyes get two runs, two hits, nobody left. We'll go to the fifth, a two-run ball game favoring Quebec at 4-2 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Yes, hello. Can I get someone to assist me in the digital camera department, please? I've been waiting for 20 minutes, and I'd like to buy this camera before it becomes obsolete. If you've got camera questions, Don's Photo has answers. So why buy from a box store? You'll find that same camera at the same low price at Don's, minus the confusion. Visit DonsPhoto.com or stop by one of our three Winnipeg stores, and let's talk photography. Mmm, nice and fresh. Ah, uh, just the way I like it. Mmm. This is really good. Ah, that hits the spot. The spot to hear all that contentment? Our very own fishbowl. The reason? Robin's. Smart coffee lovers count on the famous, always fresh taste of Robin's coffee to add extra zest to every gold ice game. Team it with a Robin's fresh baked treat, and you've got, well, a flavor doubleheader. Robin's. Fast, fresh, and friendly. your bases covered with manitoba blue cross you do they provide peace of mind for you and your family no matter what the situation planning on taking a little family trip make sure to get travel coverage from blue cross looking for more benefits for your employees look no further than blue cross they also handle individual life insurance it's a real triple play contact your insurance broker or visit nb.bluecross.ca manitoba blue cross color of caring the color of you're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 12. Well, we go to the fifth inning, and the Gold Eyes get two runs in the bottom of the fourth. It's 4 2 Quebec. And for Quebec, it's Helps, Malo, and Boucher. Top of their order. Now against Todd Privet. Here's the line scores so far four runs, three hits for Quebec. Two runs, two hits, and one error for Winnipeg. Privet works into his fifth. And the first pitch to Jeff Helps, who's one for two, is outside ball one. My guest is the fan club president, Therese Conroy. Comes all the way in from eastern Manitoba to watch games on a regular basis. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And a pitch is right down the middle for a strike, one and one. Do you want to mention where you drive in from? Oh, sure. I come in from the uh, great metropolis of Whitemouth. Whitemouth, Manitoba. Absolutely. The 1-1 is in there for a strike. It's 1-2. Kind of the gateway to the White Shell. Can we say that? It's uh, on the way to the Gate Shell, to the White white Shell. Or is Rennie, Manitoba the gateway to the White Shell? That's the one. All right. Yeah, yeah. Breaking ball is down and away and in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes. Well, what do you think of this one tonight? Well, I could hope for another three runs. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> that easy. That easy. I just thought the gold eyes were a little sloppy in that third. 2-2. Swung on, hit down the third base line, foul ball. Nice play by Ramon diving behind the bag, but foul called by third base umpire Michael Leary. Two balls and two strikes. Jeff helps. Back to the plate from the left side, trying to slap it around here a little bit. He's grounded out, singled, and scored. Gold Eyes have made an error in a four-run third inning for Quebec, and then getting two back in the bottom of the fourth. Both starters are still in the game. Todd Privet here for Winnipeg, and Carl Jelena for Quebec. Two balls and two strikes. And the pitch. Swung on and lined to left field for a base hit. So a leadoff single here for Jeff Helps, and they have their fourth hit. Do Quebec in this baseball game and Jonathan Mallow, the batter, he's 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored. 
Well, one of the reasons that we're having you on is to talk a little bit about uh, the road trip that is going to be kind of scaled down a little bit for the fan club, and it will also include a dinner with the Gold Eyes coming up when the Gold Eyes go down to Fargo on August 13th through 16th. And the dinner will be with the team in Fargo on August 13th, correct? Yep, that's right, on the uh, Monday, the 13th. It's just a post-game dinner. Pitch is swung on and bounced right side, and that will get in to the gap. Up with the ball is Mazzola. His throw goes askew at second base, backed up at third by Amos Ramon. And Mallow, first pitch swinging, has a single. Now there's two on and nobody out for Sebastian Boucher, who has a two-run single, and he's flown out to center field. So tell me a little bit about, okay, you wanted to do a road trip. You had Mm -hmm. a number of people commit, but you didn't have enough to really book the bus, right? That's right. We didn't really have a lot of uh, promotion time, so um, we just weren't able to get the numbers in time. People have expressed an interest since then, but it's already too late. You know, we have a deadline. We've got to meet that. We have to have the numbers up. And uh, it just didn't happen this year, so we thought we'd give the... uh, give the fans something and something new and so for a change we're just doing a post-game dinner okay here's Boucher who has a two-run single already tonight Privet will come set in the pitch swing and a miss and a breaking ball and it's nothing in one okay so everybody's making their way down to Fargo on their own right That's it. Um, Yeah, it gives a lot of flexibility, actually, because um, some people are going down to Kansas. In fact, I know neighbors of yours are going down to Kansas City, and they're going to take this in on the the way down. And uh, people have to make their own hotel uh, accommodations if that's what they want, get their own tickets for the game if that's what they want. Um, We're just arranging the dinner and a chance to meet the team. Pitch is swung on, bounce right side, picked up by Kendall, flipped to Duran for one, and down to DeCaster for two in time. 63 on the double play. And there's two down, and Jeff Helps moves over to third for Rennie Leverett. Nice play by Kendall to get there and start it, and a good turn by Duran to get that ball down to first base and beat Boucher. So a double play here in the top of the fifth inning for two Quebec, and a runner at third with two down for Leverett, who's 0 for 2 and standing in from the right-hand side. So, the dinner, you make your own way down if you're going down. Mm -hmm. The dinner with the Gold Eyes is August 13th. Mm -hmm. It's being put on by the Winnipeg Gold Eyes fan club. First pitch, change up, swung on and missed for strike one. All right, if I want to get involved, if I want to participate, what do I need to do? Uh, First of all, come down to the uh, fan club booth. We'll be at uh, section F or at section R um, pretty much all this week. Okay. the deadline is the 29th, so, um, and there's only advance tickets. Nobody will be in a, allowed in at the door, no sales at the door. So you have to get your tickets in advance if you if you want to be there. And the 0-1 pitch is a little bit low, 1-1. One one. The reason for that is you need to kind of book the, the restaurant and kind of let them know how many people are coming in advance, right? Just not show well, up en masse and hope they throw yeah. a buffet open for you. Well, that's right. And the... 1-1 one, one is a breaking ball hit foul, third base side, 1-2. and two. And this is really a private party. This is after hours for the restaurant, so um, the, the doors w- will be closed at that point. And so it will only be members and team and uh, coaches, etc. Okay. that are allowed in at that point. One ball, two strikes to Rennie Leverett. And he stands in from the right-hand side, 4-2 Quebec, two away, and... A runner at third base, the pitch. Fastball wide, two and two. So you have the option to get a little bit more information or register and pay your money at the fan services, pardon me, at the fan club uh, table that you have on the concourse set up. That's right. Pre game and for the first couple of innings of every game for the balance of this homestand, right? That's, That's right. That's right, Paul. Leverett here tonight is struck out looking and flown out. The 2-2 from Privet. Curve, swung on, popped up. Foul territory, drifting toward the seats, first base side, and in them. And we do it again at two balls and two strikes. Okay, what's the cost? 
Oh, it's uh, thirty-five dollars for a ticket for the uh, for the dinner, and you have to be a fan club member to um, to participate. And the fan club membership is fifteen dollars. So you can pick up a, an application for the membership, and uh, and you can buy your ticket at the same time. So altogether, it's uh, if you're not already a member, it's going to be fifty bucks. Okay, two balls and two strikes. From the full wind again, the pitch. Fastball swung on, and that is sent down the right field line. Curling foul into the seats as well. Two and two. Well, that doesn't sound unreasonable to me. Oh, it's a really good time. You know, uh, we've done this on the road trip, and everybody has a good time. The players, the the coaches, and and the fans. And it's a really good opportunity to to meet the guys um, in in a social setting. And and they they like to to mix up with the fans and and talk as well. So um, we we really appreciate them coming along and, you know, being able to take them out and show our appreciation for, for what they do for us. Two balls and two strikes. Leverett having a good look here and now calls for time and back. So, well, you know, listen, I mean, between yourselves and yourself and Allison Burns and many other people over the years, uh, what you have done for the Gold Eyes as a fan club is probably more in the line of the which way the thank you should go. Pitch is swung on and lined back up the middle for a base hit. And Leverett has an RBI single here. And it's now 5-2 to two Quebec. So a little two on Lightning, and Helps will score with two away, and Leverett has his first hit tonight, 37th RBI. So he smacks one back up the middle, good at bat for him, and here's Josue Pelly, who's 0 for 1, was hit by a pitch. So, you know, on behalf of the many players that have had the opportunity to eat with the fan club on this annual occasion, and of course the on-field administration and support staff. Thanks. Thanks for doing it again. Oh, it's, it is a good time, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> You're really welcome, Paul. Yeah, I know you've, you've been there uh, every year. I've been there, so uh, you know what you're talking about, too. But you only have to look at the standings and know what a fan club base there is here. You know, it's a fan base. It just swung on and popped up. Foul territory. De Castro will make the catch, and that is it here for Pelly and for Quebec in the top of the fifth. Did I miss anything? No, not really. Um, just want to say that, uh, you know, I'm not real expert at baseball, but I really enjoy the game, and I've been around different places to various away games, and uh, Winnipeg's got one of the, the best attendance records and so on, and it's just a thrill always to come to a game. So I hope everybody's going you know, going to think seriously about it and join us in Fargo on the August the 13th. 35 bucks for the ticket, 15 bucks for the fan club membership. You get to eat with the team and have a real good time and That's have right. some fellowship, basically. Basically, is, is what's going on. Absolutely. And I appreciate it again, Therese Conway, okay. president of the fan club. Welcome. Thanks very much. Thank and you. We'll see you on and the remember, 15th. no tickets in advance. Right. <laughs> Only tickets in advance. Only. Nothing at the door. Right. All right. Therese Conroy, the president of the Winnipeg Gold Eyes fan club, joining us here tonight. Again, you can get a ticket, make arrangements through the fan club table that's on the concourse. It'll be here during pregame and the first couple of innings of each and every one of the games on this homestand. Hope to see you on the 13th down in Fargo. While well, 5-2 Quebec in front, we'll go to the bottom of the fifth after these on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. You've been trying to dig yourself out of debt with credit cards, loans, payday advances. It was all so easy. You didn't notice how deep in the hole you were getting. But there is someone who can give you different tools to use. Tools like credit counseling, credit proposals, and bankruptcy options to help you climb back to solid financial ground. Go to lctaylor.com right now. L.C. Taylor, trustees in bankruptcy. Your way forward. Cheers to the NSA slow pitch team whose uniforms are not uniform at all. Cheers to the times where more prep goes into playing after the game than playing in it. Cheers to the team who carries the cooler to the bench first and then maybe goes back to the van for the bats, balls, and gloves. Cheers from the Bud family, Budweiser, Bud Light, and Bud Light Lime. Proud sponsors of your Winnipeg Gold Eyes and every NSA slow pitch team in Winnipeg. Go get them. 
A little of this. I turn it on at work, and we all love it. Awesome. A little of that. It's the only station I listen to in my car. Bob makes my day. I'm more of a whatever guy. Tune in to Bob's <laughs> Breakfast with <laughs> Kelly Parker and Dick. Okay. That's Donald Duck's middle name. Why? Is it not? Is it Fontroy or Fontroy? <laughs> this is, it's important that I get it right. Weekdays from 5.30 till 9. When, what time are we on again? 5.30? Oh, Gosh, wait. that's early. Add some 80s, 90s, and whatever to your day with 99.9 Bob FM. We love it. I listen all day. Bottom of the fifth inning, and the first pitch to Kyle Day is a little bit low. So is pitch number two. Two balls and no strikes. As we welcome you back, it's 5-2 to two Quebec. Bottom five. Bottom of the order for Winnipeg, the 2-0. Swung on, fouled back to the screen, and it's 2-1. So it's Day, Duran, and Ramon for Winnipeg, 7, 8, and 9. I get my thanks to Therese Conroy, the president of the Winnipeg Gold Eyes Fan Club, who are putting on their annual fan club dinner for the team, 2-1. Swung on, that's hit to center field. And right there is Boucher, and he'll make the catch for the first out. That'll go August the 13th. You are invited. Tickets are $35. You have to be a member of the fan club to participate, though. And that's an additional 15 bucks for the membership. And you need your ticket in advance. You can't just show up at the door and get in and eat with the team. Here's Jose Duran. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch. Swung on. That's hit sharply up towards short. One hop to his right. Helps is there. And He'll throw to first base, two away. And the batter, Amos Ramon. He walked and then was picked off. Of second base. So no official at bat here tonight. Lights are starting to take effect here. As you can tell, the days are getting a little bit shorter. First pitch is on the outside edge for a strike. I mean, still lots of daylight. We'll be light till 9 o'clock here tonight for sure. But And the 0-1 pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. Ramon batting 265. Couple of homers, 21 driven in, the 1-1. Is swung on, fell back to the screen, one and two. Carl Jelena works into his fifth inning. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Swung on, and that's filleted right center, and that'll drop for a base hit. As Amos goes the other way, and has a two-out single, and Bryce Kendall the batter. And Kendall 0 for 2 tonight. Tomorrow night back on the air at 6.30 on TSN 1290. And again, for you folks on CJ Radio, we'll be with you at 1 o'clock on Sunday, our next broadcast. And that will be against Sioux Falls. In the meantime, the Gold Eyes have two more with Quebec after tonight. And then three coming up with Sioux Falls in the weekend. First pitch is a breaking ball that's in there for a strike. Well, one thing about Jelena here tonight, he hasn't thrown very hard. He's had the off-speed and the breaking stuff work as he's got it in for cold strikes, and he's been around the plate all night. From the stretch. Long pause, the 0-1. Fast balls inside, one ball in, one strike. Kendall's bounced out to short and bounced out to third tonight. Old eyes have... Three hits off Jelena, two for extra bases. 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball is just inside, 2-1. and one. Price batting 289. He's on a modest three-game hitting streak. And he was 8 for 30 on that road trip, the 2-1. Swung on, fouled away, and it's 2-2. Two and two. 8 for 30, 267. He was one of seven gold eyes that 
did not participate in the golf tournament yesterday because of injury. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, swung on, sent down the right field line and curling toward the seats and foul. There was DeCaster, Kendall, Weber, Day. Kendall, I said that. DeCaster, Day, Weber, Roberson. Two balls and two strikes. And the pitch is inside. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes. The payoff. Runner on the move. Pitch is swung on and popped up into center field. Coming hard is Boucher, and he will make the catch for the final out in the bottom of the fifth inning. No runs, one hit, and one left. We'll go to the sixth. 5-2 is the score for Quebec. The commissioner of the American Association in Ken Emily coming up next. Miles Wolf after these on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. The Mediterranean. The Greek. The Mediterranean. The Greek. Even if you can't agree on what kind of pizza to get, at least everyone in Winnipeg agrees where to get it. Santa Lucia Pizza. For the sixth straight year, you and Uptown Magazine readers voted Santa Lucia Best Pizza in Winnipeg. They've also received the Consumer Choice Award for Best Pizza Restaurant. Whether it's dine-in, takeout, or home delivery, Winnipeg agrees. Santa Lucia Pizza is the best in town. You see, the best ingredients make the best of the pizza. Discover la francophonie in Manitoba. La Broquerie, Île des Chênes, Sainte Rose du Lac, Notre Dame de Lourdes, Saint Pierre Joli, Saint Boniface, and way much more. In our friendly province, we are fortunate. French is everywhere and has lots to offer. Open your mind, add a French twist to your life, and enjoy the richness of another beautiful culture right here in Manitoba. Venez voir, venez voir. Vous serez surpris, surpris. Venez voir. Luxury, convenience, comfort. Have it all with Premier Executive Suites. For business travelers who are always on the move, Premier Executive Suites is your home away from home. You can relax in your comfortable living room, grab a midnight snack in your complete kitchen, and do that last-minute load of laundry with your handy in-suite washer and dryer. Book your extended stay in Winnipeg with Premier Executive Suites. Visit PremierSuites.com to make your booking today. Take more of your life with you with Premier Executive Suites. Never miss the action with live Gold Eyes coverage on TSN 1290. Now, back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, here's Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the sixth inning. It is 5-2 for Quebec, and it's my distinct pleasure to welcome the commissioner of the American Association and Can Amley, Miles Wolf. And we get a... I love this. It's like, you know, Gary Bettman or... You know, the well, other. Quite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, we get a, an exclusive here. Paul, good to be here. Yeah, thanks, Miles. First pitch to Steve Brown is inside for ball one. We're in the top of the sixth. Quebec leads it by three. They scored four in the third, one in the fifth. Gold Eyes getting a deuce in the fourth. And Todd Privet works into his sixth inning. The pitch swung on, fell back, and it's one and one. Brown, Wagner, and Rodriguez, six, seven, and eight. Miles, before we get to the usual questions about the league and all those things, I want to ask you about this game here tonight. It is, to some degree, historic because these two teams, these two franchises, have played independent baseball for many, many years now. The 1-1 one -one is inside two balls, one strike. Gold Eye since 94, and Quebec came a little bit after that, did they not? 99. 99. Okay, so that was their first year in what was the Northeast League back then. The 2-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled the plate by Brown. It's 2-2. Two and two. And Miles, you had ownership stake in this Quebec franchise pretty much from day one. And I'm going to ask you, because it might even bring a tear to your eye, I'm sure you envisioned this game going back to 99 happening at one point, and it's finally, all these years later, unfolding before us. No, we've 
you know, we really have talked about we should have interleague play and Winnipeg should play Quebec. They're two natural rivals. And, no, just and look at the crowd. It's, it's a great night. The 2-2 pitch swung on, and that is popped up into right field. Mazzola coming in, going back is going to be Kendall, and the second baseman gets back far enough to make the catch, and there's one down. But I'm sure you you had thought about this game for a long time. How can I get Winnipeg to play Quebec or vice versa? Wherever it is, I don't care. If it's in Quebec or in Manitoba, I don't care, but I want this game to happen, and all these years later, here it is. No, it's it's great. No, as, it, as you said, we, we've been thinking about it, but this year it, it all worked out. Here's Robert Wagner. First pitch is in there for a strike. Gold Eyes have a right-hander up in the bullpen starting to throw. Nothing in one is the count. Craig James is the reliever. And the pitch swung on and missed. Maybe you can help us a little bit with this 41-20 and 20 record for Quebec. They are really the class or have become the class of the k and League, have they not? Really pretty much. I mean, they they get a lot of Quebec players and, you know, year in and year out, and they come back. So I think 12 players on this club played last year. So the continuity is good, which always helps in independent baseball. Pitch is outside, one and two to Wagner in the pitch. Breaking ball outside, two and two. Now, you are no longer involved in the ownership of Le Capital, correct? Correct. You were there originally. And did you sell recently? Did you start to divest yourself with a minority as a comebacker right to privet off the bat of Wagner is fielded by the pitcher for the gold eyes. He throws over to first base and there's two away here. When did you start to divest yourself and did you do it gradually or did you sell out bang? Sold out bang two okay. years ago. You know, always I believe the team should be locally owned and we found a good local owner with, you know, the sort of right qualifications and uh, he bought it, Jean Tremblay, and has been a great owner ever since. Here's Ronnie Rodriguez. First pitch swung on and that has popped up. Right center field, Roberson tracking, jogging, and reaching up with one hand, and that is it. Here for Quebec in the top of the sixth. Miles, can you hang around? Because we haven't even got started yet. Sure, All right. I'll be here. <laughs> one, two, three. La Capitale go in order. Un de trois. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. Quebec leads at 5 2 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Business owners, do you know where your fleet vehicles are? I have a good idea. With a GPS tracking system from Sirius Technologies, you'll know their exact locations. But I trust my employees. It's more than that. GPS tracking gives you a bird's eye view of your business with real numbers to measure productivity. Imagine adding one more job a day or cutting idling time by 50%. Sirius Technologies. Data, Data is, is power. power. It's time to get serious. For your free one-month trial, visit SiriusTechnologies.ca. Hit a home run this summer at any of RB's six Winnipeg locations. Whether you want to lead off with Arby's oven roasted roast beef or return for a designated hit with a market fresh sandwich or wrap, you'll always come away feeling like a winner after a visit to Arby's. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Arby's. Locally owned and operated and proud to be a corporate sponsor of your Winnipeg Gold Eyes. For five years, the new Pemina Chrysler has become Winnipeg's most conveniently located automotive center. From a 30-minute orange-free oil change, all make collision center, Canada's largest parts volume dealer, or an incredible selection of new and used vehicles, it's really all here at the new Pemina Chrysler. So why drive to the outskirts of the city to buy, much less go all the way back for service, when it's all here at the new Pemina Chrysler Dodge Jeep? 300 Pemina Highway or PeminaChrysler.com. Well, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, 5-2. Quebec leads it. Chris Roberson, Gerundel DeCaster, John Weber, 2-3-4. In the order for Winnipeg, they trail by three. Carl Jelena works into a six, the right-hander. And here comes the first pitch to Robo. Swung on and inside and outed down the left field line toward the seats and in them. And, oh, boy, did Jonathan Mallow go flying into that retaining wall and got turned around. Lucky he didn't break his hip there, Miles. You know, he, he went real hard after yeah. that. He's, he's an outstanding player. Got as high as AAA with the Mets and uh, from Montreal area and just plays hard every game. 
Nothing in one strike one. Commissioner of the American Association and KM League, Miles Wolf, is my guest here. What did you sell out, by the way? When did you uh, sell to uh, Mr. Tremblay in Quebec? Uh, two years ago, okay. November. Yeah. Um. The 0 1 is high, one ball, one strike. And, you know, I, the interesting part, I remember when you kind of started the franchise and I asked you, not flippantly, but I asked you about learning French and you said you were going to the 1-1. Swing and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes and, and you did. No, I didn't. Oh, I'm, it wasn't very good? No, I took courses. I've done Rosetta Stone. I've done it all and I am the world's worst French speaker. I, I'm embarrassed. You know, after 14 years, you know, maybe I can order in a, a, off a menu, but... It's, I find it a very difficult language, but, uh, uh, you know, it's it's not good when you can't speak the language. 2-1 is swung on and foul back, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about interleague play. I had Dan Mouchon on, the president of the league. And by the way, Dan had a little, I tweeted out, he had a little health setback last week, but he's doing okay doing now? Doing okay, back in the office, everything's fine. It's good they caught it, you have some blockage in some arteries, okay. and, but they've got it, and so he's in good shape now. 2-2 two, two is inside, three balls and two strikes. And, you know, he, for the most part, and I'll tell you how the conversation kind of went, and I mean, you can follow through with this, or maybe I can be a little bit more pointed, but, you know, while you have two leagues, the payoff pitch, swung on, hit right side, that's going to get through. And Chris Roberson has two hits here tonight, the leadoff single in this last of the six. When you have two leagues with an odd number of teams, it only makes sense because you can't have a schedule with an odd number of teams unless you want to have a team sitting out, you know, every series for two, three, or four days. So you merge them together, and you get some interleague play. In the case of Gary, they have said that it's closer to go to the East Coast for them than it is to some of the teams over in their own league. So... You know, it does make sense, and I think for the most part it's gone over very well. Sherundel to cast to the batter, first pitch. Swung on and bounced out towards short. Helps to his right. Throw to second for one, and down to one for two. And to cast your bags into a 6-4-3 double play on the first pitch swinging. And there's two away in the bottom of the sixth inning. So, while it's not perfect, Miles, I would say to you, and not to put words into your mouth, it's worked out all right. It's worked it? out all right. Uh, no, I mean... It was a natural with two odd numbers. Uh, you know, my disappointment is we've got two really weak clubs on the field in the East, uh, Worcester and Newark, and I had hoped they would be more competitive. You know, so when the American Association teams meet them, it's not a fair playing field. You meet Quebec, you meet New Jersey, you meet Rockland, fine. So I, you know, as commissioner, just I have a problem. They haven't made their team as good as they could. They've signed rookies when there are a lot of good experienced players out there. Pitch is swung on, sent down the left field line, and it's nothing to two to John Weber. And the count, nothing to two. Well, I mean, again, in defense of the league, when you're putting the schedule together, I mean, you don't know what kind of team Worcester's going to no, no, have absolutely. or Gary's going to have. No, we or... thought Worcester was going to be very good. Yeah. No, yeah. The 0-2 swung on, bounced out towards short again. To his left helps a nice field and a pickup and a twist and a throw to first. And that is it for Winnipeg in the bottom of this sixth inning. Miles Wolf, the commissioner of the American Association and Ken M League is my guest. More with him after these. Gold Eyes go one, two, three. After a base hit, but a double play erases that. And they trail 5-2 after 6 on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Granny's Turkey invites you to think big. Because now bigger really is better. Look for new Granny seasoned boneless turkey breast in the frozen food aisle. It's big on flavor, big on nutrition, and it makes chicken breasts and steaks seem so tiny. New Granny seasoned boneless turkey breast. Great on the grill or any way you like. Bigger is better. Granny's. Great taste. Healthy living. To find stores offering Granny's seasoned boneless turkey breast, see grannies.ca slash barbecue. 
If I said to you, you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Well, not if you got the body work done at Moray Auto Body, because beautiful body work is what they do best. They're not part of some giant chain, so they treat every customer like their only customer, and that means attention to detail like you wouldn't believe. Frame straightening, expert refinishing, even boat repairs, painting, and deckling. Moray Auto Body does it all and does it right. Really right. Right where you'd expect them to be, at 700 Moray. These guys hit it right out of the park. If you love fishing, you've got to discover the Alumacraft difference. Alumacraft boats simply deliver way more bang for your fishing buck. More models to choose from, more durability, more resale value, more outstanding performance, more of everything you want in a boat that will last. You really can see and feel the difference quality makes. Get the facts at alumacraft.com or give Girton Equipment a call at 1-800-619-0614. Alumacraft. Better built, better ride, better value. You're listening to Winnipeg Gold Eyes Baseball, live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Sirius Technologies. Let's get back to the action with Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the seventh. 5-2 is the score for Quebec through six. Todd Privet works into his seventh. Both starters are still in the game. And my guest is Miles Wolf, the commissioner of the Can-Am and American Associations. And we do this for Boston Pizza. It's Gold Eyes this week. We'll call it around the association this year for Boston Pizza. And Josh Colafamina will take the first pitch outside ball one. Brought to you by Boston Pizza. Try Boston Pizza's all-meat wings. This summer, nothing goes better with BP's all-meat wings than all beer beer. Boston Pizza here to make you happy. The 1-0. Swung on and lined over short in the left field. And Colafamina has his first hit of the night. Lead-off single. And he's aboard for the second time. He was on back in that 4-1 third, which really is the difference here for Quebec after an error. And that is hit number seven for Quebec off of Todd Privet. We go back to the top of the order, and Jeff helps. Well, Miles, the other thing that Dan Mouchon did say is You know, unless you get the 14th team in the American Association, unless you get the 6th team in the Can-Am League, that right now it's not going to happen in perpetuity, but for the foreseeable future, you're going to have interleague play between the two leagues going forward into 2013. Is that safe? Sure, but, you know, we'll know in September what, the makeup is going to be right you know we could have a 14th here we could have a sixth we could have a seventh in the can-am so but as commissioner and i don't get a vote on this i hope let's say both are even we still have some sort of interleague play maybe two or three series i'm not sure how it would work but i believe it's good for both leagues to and i think the fans enjoy it so we'll see what happens in the fall okay Two balls and no strikes to Jeff Helps. He's two for three here tonight. Lefty, lefty, and Craig James continues to loosen the Gold Eyes bullpen down that left field line. 5-2 Quebec. Privet will come set. Runner at first base in the pitch. Fastball is outside. 3-0. and oh. Okay, one question I have for you, too, and I did have, well, as we call him TJ, Tim Johnson on from El Paso. And that was last week. Pitches in there for a strike at 3-1. and one. You know, the story has moved that El Paso wants to build a new facility downtown. They want to bring in AAA. And the First Nations group that owns the Diablos, very committed to the stadium there and also to the American Association. Pitches in there for a strike at 3-2. and two. They've said through Tim Johnson, they're not going anywhere. So we've got sort of a, an interesting play going on in El Paso here, don't we, Commission? Yeah, no, I mean, we were certainly disappointed to see that AAA was trying to get, come into our territory, but not a, a lot we can do about it. Uh, so in the next couple of years, we'll see how this shakes out. It just swung on, sent down the left field line. They wouldn't have the AAA ballpark ready for it until at least 2014 and probably 2015. So we're okay in El Paso for a year or two more. And, yeah, the First Nations, the Tigua tribe, is saying we may just put a ballpark on our uh, land and l- let people in free. I, it'll be an interesting thing to follow. All right. Good story there. And we will. We'll follow it yeah. for sure. Uh, you know, listen, I mean, 
Tim Johnson is a well-respected baseball man. He doesn't live very far. He lives in New Mexico, only about 20 minutes or so from El Paso, Texas. Three balls and two strikes here to Helps. And the pitch swung on, and that is lined over short and dumped into left field. And Helps has his third hit, slapping it around here. And Rick Forney has seen enough, and we are going to probably get into the bullpen here of the Gold Eyes, and Jonathan Mallow is going to see Craig James. And then, of course, there's always talk about some expansion, and I hear rumblings. I've talked about it. I have written about it a little bit. I've had people respond. Rick and I have talked about it on the radio as Todd Privet comes out of the baseball game. We'll keep it here on the stations. There's a kind of a buzz, I guess, about Alberta again. And in talking to Rick and in talking to Doug Simonuk, of all people, Doug would have no problem going back to Alberta. So if you've got that endorsement, well, what else do you yeah, need? What else do you need? Hey, as commissioner, <laughs> you know, I'll just call Doug, and how, how should we play this yeah. one, Doug? Uh, because I'll tell you what, if Doug didn't like it, you'd hear about oh. it, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, no, Doug, uh, you know, has a way of letting you know. He's very subtle, of course, but... Uh, no, I mean, the, the folks in Edmonton are making a push right now. Um, we've got a group here tonight from Fort McMurray. Um, they just voted $40 million for a minor league ballpark in Fort McMurray. Does that make sense for us? Well, I don't know, but if Edmonton makes sense, if Calgary does, then, you know, maybe Fort McMurray does. Um, you know, there are lots of things happening, which are good. I mean, good things happening. Uh, I just had a call, and I won't say the location, but from a group in the Midwest, I thought we were sort of out of expansion places in that, you know, yeah. corridor. Yeah. And somebody called, and it's, whoa, that would be great for us. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's sort of fun right now. I, I, you know, it's sort of philosophically, where is the American Association going to go or they're going to be happy with maybe just our core that we've always had, the good, if you would, the Northern League teams. Yep. You know, you know, some say let's drop Texas and let's just concentrate. But you could look at an Alberta division. You know, why not do a Can-Am division if you have strong franchises there? I... As I say, we're trying to feel our way, but there are lots of movement. So over the next couple of years, it'll be interesting to see what direction the league goes. Six-plus innings for Todd Privet here tonight. Eight hits, five runs, a couple of walks, three strikeouts. He hit a batter, and he gives way to Craig James. Pitching change brought to you by Johnson Waste Management, 4520909. And Jonathan Mallow. One for two, a walk, and a run scored will face James. First pitch, showing bunt, and he lays one down up the third base line, and it's foul. Strike one. Two on, nobody out. Colafamina at second, helps us at first. We're in the seventh. Quebec may be trying to put the exclamation mark on this one with a couple in this seventh. Leading five to two, my guest is American Association and Ken M. League Commissioner. Miles Wolf. Yeah, well, I guess it's always great, Miles, to have options, and it seems like you've got a number of them, whether that's three places in Alberta, Calgary, Edmonton, and Fort McMurray. I do know this about Fort Mac, if anybody, and I'm sure most people do here in Western Canada, and the pitch is popped up and caught by Craig James. He'll look to double off somebody, and no takers there. Call of Amina and helps back to their base pretty tight. And Craig James makes the rare pop-up to one catch of the botched bunt there by Mallow. And there's one down for Sebastian Boucher. Fort McMurray, I mean, they cannot build homes fast enough in that market, which is about four and a half hours from Edmonton. It is absolutely booming with the oil business. It, it has a lot of money. It has a very vibrant, growing population. And like I said, there is not enough homes in Fort Mac for the people that are moving there right now. First pitch is low, ball one. And, I mean, they've got to have some entertainment. Sure. I mean, it's a, a young population. I, it's a, I have these facts because I've just been talking to them. The average age, you know, is 32. The average household income is 190,000. Uh, you know, it's booming. They, they have 70,000 people living in camps. They're workers because they don't have places for them to live. They fly them in each week. So... 
it could be a very interesting place for a baseball team. Sebastian Boucher is the batter. You know, this is interesting. The first time I heard about Ford Mack Miles goes back about four or five years ago at the Baseball Canada Awards Dinner and Banquet in Toronto. I know you've attended that before. The 1-0 is low from James to Boucher, who is one for three with a two-run single and a run scored tonight. And it was brought up by former Blue Jays general manager and Seattle general manager and Baltimore general manager Pat Gillick. He was the one that brought it up, and I don't know if you know, you would mention it to him or vice versa. The 2-0 is high, three balls and no strikes. But he was the first one I heard mention, hey, if you're going to Calgary and Edmonton, what about Fort Mack? And well, I have to go on a, on a map to find Fort McMurray. I, <laughs> that wasn't on my radar, no. I mean, it, it's it's only been you know the last couple years, and they're a very aggressive community. So that's something to be looking at. 3-0 is in there for a strike. And so... Uh, the people that are interested in bringing baseball to Fort McMurray are here tonight, and they're getting the nickel tour here, as they Absolutely. say? Absolutely. Sam, in fact, is talking to them right now. Uh, you know, it's they've got plans. They've got architects. They've got everything. Pitch uh, is inside. Ball four. Bases are loaded. Oh, yeah, and $40 million to play with. Yes. So, uh, but, you know, the ballpark wouldn't be ready till 2014, 2015. Right. So, as I say, you've got to look at all these, you know, how the pieces fit together. Uh, you know, does putting Edmonton in next year with all the travel problems make sense? Because uh, Calgary is not part of their equation. It was a couple months ago. So Calgary is not active at the moment, but Edmonton is. You'd like both of them to come in together. Uh, so we have to, you know, this fall we'll have to make some decisions. Here's Rennie Leverett, and the first pitch. The fastball that swung on and missed at 91 on the gun. Good giddy up there from Craig James. Well, it seems to me that, you know, Edmonton's ready to go, and maybe there's your 14th team, and, you know, can you work around where everybody comes up, plays Winnipeg, and then flies to Edmonton and back? I, I guess that would have to be something kind of viewed that way, or... Or out of St. Paul uh, or Minneapolis, right direct pitches in there for a strike, and it's nothing to do. A couple of good fastballs there to Leverett, who's one for three here tonight. Bases loaded, one away in the seventh. Five-two, Quebec leads it. I mean, that's why I guess you know you you cash every two weeks that handsome check there, Commission, yeah. because you got to figure this thing out. You know, with a little bit of guidance from the the well, I was the owners or directors, whatever you want to call them, pitches swung on and fouled back. But you'll kind of take your guidelines from them, will you not? Right, right. Um, no, I mean, schedule is probably, we're looking at that right now. What would make sense travel-wise? And does it, you know, does it make sense? And, you know, that's, we're very actively looking at that almost as we speak. Nothing in two to Rennie Leverett. And Craig James looking in, righty, righty here. Question has popped up here. What about anything in Saskatchewan? You know, Regina, Saskatoon? Everybody says Weyburn. Saskatoon would make a great market for us, but I don't think they've got a facility there that's no. adequate. Uh, and there's no movement at the moment. 0-2 pitch is Ooh. half a swing, and it just missed low. One ball and two strikes from Craig James to Rennie Leverett. One and two bases loaded here. Colafamina is at third, helps at second. Sebastian Boucher walked. First walk issued by James, third by Gold Eyes pitching here tonight. Craig James is in to make his 25th appearance, the 1 2. Breaking ball swung on and missed. And he got Leverett on strikes. And there's two away. Strikeout number one for Craig James. And four strikeouts for Gold Eyes pitching in the baseball game. James is 2 0 with a 4.07 ERA. 24 and a third innings, 28 hits, 11 earned runs, 13 walks, 17 strikeouts now. The opposition batting 289 against him. And here comes Bill Pulse for out to have a chat. So, okay, here's another thing that was a little bit tough on Winnipeg, and, and I'm sure Sioux City too, because they did it at the same time. And there's some other teams that are going to do it. But the 30 and 30, and I know, Miles, uh, that you've defended it. 
uh, because you have an impact on the schedule. Uh, but it was a little rough, I got to tell you, 30 games in 30 days, especially with the travel for Winnipeg. Would you look at maybe starting the season two or three days earlier next year to buy a couple extra days off so that you don't have to schedule 30 and 30? I don't have to. I mean, I think with the number of off days we have, we can work it. You know, nobody wants to play in May. Certainly Winnipeg doesn't. You know, you start on a Monday or a Tuesday in May. I Pitch is swung on know. and popped up left side, and Duran comes in and makes the catch on Josue Pelly. And that is that for Quebec in the seventh. I need you for another half inning. Is that all right? All right, I'm going to let you stretch. I'm going to watch you stretch it out here and everybody else do the same here when we come back. It's after six and a half. Quebec leads at 5-2. Stretch time in my hometown. We invite you to do the same wherever you are tonight. Back with the bottom of the seventh on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Hi, I'm Denny from Denny's Old Hog Barbecue. There's nothing better than a summer barbecue. And I'm quarterback Buck Pierce. And I want you to call Danny's Whole Hog Barbecue now to book your fully catered barbecue or try a do-it-yourself hog roast. It's fun, delicious, will cost less than you think. Plus, you can keep the leftovers. We'll even pack it up for you. Dates are filling up, so act fast. Visit dannyswholehog.com or call 344-5675. And we'll bring the flavor. That baseball glove, you know the one. The one that you got in high school. The one that got you MVP your senior year. Yeah, you know the one, and we do too. At Ranger Insurance, we protect what's important to you. Because whatever size it is, it's the little things that matter. Whether it's home, life, auto, or commercial, Ranger Insurance has a plan that's right for you. For the protection you deserve, visit rangerinsurance.ca. What makes Tavern United Manitoba's number one sports pub? Service second to none. Food that's right on point. And value that's big league all the way. And this summer, during Tavern United's Your Team, Your Tickets promotion, win weekly prizes and qualify to win season tickets to your Winnipeg Gold Eyes, Blue Bombers, and of course, the Jets. So get your friends together for some frothy fun, fabulous food, and guaranteed good times at your new world sports pub, Tavern United. United we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. We welcome you back. 5-2 Here's the score for Quebec and for Winnipeg. Luis Allen, Josh Mazzola, Kyle Day. And they'll face right-hander Carl Jelena, who works into his seventh. He's been real good here tonight. Allen is 0-for-1, was hit by a pitch. My guest is Commissioner of the American Association in Can-Am League, Miles Wolf, first pitch is right down the middle for a strike. We were talking about, you know, the 30 and 30, and Miles, you were saying the only issue that you have to maybe back the schedule up to say a Tuesday instead of the Thursday or the Friday is you're not kind of working on that weekend. The pitch is swung on, and that is softly lined out to the second baseman, Josh Colafamina, and there's one away. Yeah, true. Well, I will buy that too, but at the same time, you should have your pre-sale done for whatever day of the week that you're going to open up. Sure, right? but, you know, Winnipeg, I don't want to use be too emphatic, but screams their head off if I schedule them at home the first week of the season. Sure. I can't schedule Lincoln home because they've got uh, NCAA baseball. 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 I, yep. You know, there are two or, other, two or three other teams like Fargo can't be home. So it, you know, certain teams get the short end of the stick if I could balance it. Uh, but, you know, I have to tell somebody you're opening on a Tuesday night on a cold, you know, May evening. As I say, I'd rather, I think, we have enough off days to, you know, to balance them okay. the way it is. Here's Josh Mazzolo for two tonight. Swing and a miss. And they count one ball and two strikes and trying to extend a hitting streak to 19 straight. Well, one of the things that probably could have been done, and I'll say this, is the league started on a Thursday this year. The Gold Eyes didn't start on a Friday. They could have started on that Thursday. The pitch is swung on and lifted out toward left field. And right there is Wagner. He'll make the catch. and They'll be two away here in the bottom of the seventh. And you probably could have had that extra day kind of smacked into that 30 and 30 at some point. So, sure, sure. Yeah, there's, an e- there's an easy fix. Yeah, there. I, as I say, I wasn't that, you know, sometimes league members have to let me know. Absolutely. I wasn't conscious in making it, okay, we've got 30 days, I should put this off day here rather than here. So, 
as I say, it's in years past it hasn't been a problem. So you know we'll see what happens this year. But as I say, I just knowing how teams don't like to open earlier than they do now, I'd rather juggle the off days to make it work for everybody. Sure. Kyle Day 0 for 2. And the pitch is inside 1-1. One one. Well, I, for one, enjoyed going down to Texas. I thought, thought it was great to see, you know, a different part of the country, different type of baseball there with the big parks and the ball flies and carries. And, you know, the fact that the Gold Eyes went 6-3 and three down there and the nine games didn't hurt either. The 1-1 one one is swung on and fouled back. No, I mean, you've got... You know, an old ballpark like Amarillo that may, you know, it's not certainly perfect, but it's interesting to see that. And they, they draw there, too. They draw there. El Paso is a neat place to yep, go. Absolutely. I mean, no, I enjoy when I have to go around to the different cities, just the different environments. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, you see a lot of U.S. and Canada, which is fun. 1-2 is bounce right side. And I appreciate your, you know, there's two outs here, and I appreciate with two strikes on Kyle Day coming up, and I, I really just want to ask, are you still having fun doing this, Miles? Because you're really the architect behind independent baseball, the pioneer and all that, and I've talked to you before, you kind of stole the idea from the East Coast Hockey League in around 1991-92, and voila, the Northern League in 1993 was six charter member teams, pitches outside, two balls and two strikes. You still enjoying this, and have you really enjoyed the way it's evolved to, to what it is? Sure. Sure, sure. I mean, it's, I, I don't think any of us dreamed, you know, we'd be sitting here 20 years later in this great ballpark with 6,000 people, and, you know, it's it's been a great run. Pitch is swung on and missed, and that's it for Day, and the Gold Eyes go in order. One, two, three. Three strikeouts here for Jelena, and the Gold Eyes are done through seven. Miles, always a pleasure. Thanks very much for stopping by. We'll see you again. All the best to Dan Mushan. Hope he's feeling okay. Okay, thanks, Paul. All, right. All right, Miles Wolf is the commissioner of the Can-Am, and American Association took time out with us for the last couple of innings. We certainly appreciate that. We'll go to the eighth inning, 5-2 Quebec on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Support your own. The Gold Eyes and Fort Gary Brewing. Located right here in Winnipeg, Fort Gary Brewing is Manitoba's number one brewery. Crafting a full spectrum of delicious beers and ales, including the award-winning Fort Gary Dark and fan favorite Fort Gary Pale, both of which are available at Shaw Park. So cheer on the home team. Fort Gary Brewing, Manitoba made, Manitoba's own. Thinking real estate for a home run every time? Choose Remax. Whether you need to buy or sell a home or lease or sell commercial real estate, Remax has your bases covered. Plus, they're Winnipeg's number one negotiator. Find your dream home or invest for your future. Outstanding agents, outstanding results. Remax. Visit Remax-Winnipeg.com to find your agent today. Summer in Manitoba sizzles all over the place, from our great beaches to our great ballpark. And I just don't mean on the field. I mean on Goldie's Grill, where they sizzle up some of the best hot dogs you've ever tasted. Diamond Dogs, the official hot dog of the Gold Eyes, custom made by Winkler Meats. Diamond Dogs are naturally smoked, gluten and allergen free, and made with quality ingredients that deliver full flavor every bite. Try them at the game or pick them up at your local grocer. Diamond Dogs from Winkler Meats. Product quality is our tradition. You're listening to Gold Ice Baseball Live on TSN 1290. Brought to you in part by Avalon and the Gulf Dome. Well, we go to the eighth inning. And the Gold Eyes are trailing 5-2. to two. Quebec scoring four in the third. Steve Brown will lead it off for the Capitel. Brown, Wagner, and Ronnie Rodriguez. Against Craig James. First pitch. Fastball, low, ball one. No activity in the Gold Eyes bullpen, so they're going to try to maybe get two innings out of the right arm of Craig James from Miami, Florida. He was on the golf course yesterday, the 1-0. In there for a strike, and it's 1-1. By the way, Brian Boyning, Luis Allen, Bryce Kendall, Kyle Day, John Weber, Sherrill DeCaster, and Chris Roberson all did not participate in the golf tournament yesterday for various reasons, and most of which was because of injury and just nagging bumps and bruises, the 
Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Brown, one for two tonight with a walk, hit a two-run single. Let's get to the answer on trivia. 5-2. Quebec leads it. Trivia brought to you by the Place Louis Riel Suite Hotel in downtown Winnipeg. Place Louis Riel specializing in spacious executive suites. If I didn't uh, know any better, I almost really felt the commissioner was telling us that Edmonton will be in this league next year. 1-2 is a little bit low, 2-2. Two and two. Question tonight was this. The Gold Eyes are playing the first Canadian team in a regular season game since 2007 as they host the Quebec Capitale. Which was the last team Winnipeg played that was Canadian before tonight? Well, congratulations to Gabrielle Elborn. Pitch is swung on and fouled away down the right field line. And into the seats from the Osborne Village area in downtown Winnipeg here. And Gabrielle knew the answer to be Edmonton. September 2nd, 2007. And the Gold Eyes played in Edmonton and then flew home. Two balls and two strikes to Brown. And Craig James comes set in the pitch. Breaking ball swung on, wrapped out towards short. Back in to pick up by Durant. Plants and throws to first in time. One away. And Robert Wagner, the batter. And Wagner 0 for 3 here tonight. So the answer, Edmonton, was the last Canadian team the Gold Eyes have played prior to tonight. And Gabrielle, congratulations. A pair of Gold Eye tickets to a future home game. You'll also be eligible to win the grand prize of a weekend stay at the Place Louis at the end of the season. First pitch to Wagner, swung on and missed for strike one. And some folks very much remember that weekend in Edmonton of 2007 as the Gold Eyes had some fans that were able to, you know, travel with fairly inexpensive flights, I guess, WestJet, Air Canada, to Calgary and Edmonton. Well, I get the feeling that Edmonton's coming back in next year. And then maybe Calgary and after that, Fort McMurray or Fort Mac, then Calgary. Who knows? The one, two. Swung on, fouled away. And it's a ball and two strikes. So the answer, Edmonton, 2007. Robert Wagner has struck out twice and bounced out once tonight. Fargo's blasting Sioux Falls. It's 10-5 in the sixth on the Manitoba Blue Cross out of town scoreboard. The ground ball hit right side off the bat of Wagner. Up with a Kendall over to first, two away. And Ronnie Rodriguez, the batter, he's 0 for 3. Let's have a look at trades and transactions today for the Animal Hospital Manitoba. We are a full-service veterinary hospital that also provides behavioral and nutritional counseling. The Animal Hospital Manitoba, we treat your pets as if they were our own. Well, as you know, the Gold Eyes pulled Brian Boyning off revocable waivers, released by... Pitcher Billy Spottiswood pitches in there for a strike. It traded Ridge Carpenter to Sioux Falls. I think another move or two still to come in the next day or two. Ronnie Rodriguez flown out to right twice to center field once. The 0-1. Breaking ball swung on. That's hit out to left field. Well stroked way back and it is gone. A home run for Ronnie Rodriguez. His second of the year. First home run that Craig James has given up this year, and it's 6-2 to two, Quebec. And Quebec has scored four in the third and singles in the fifth and now here in the eighth. And Craig James was just about through two innings before giving up his first jack of the year. So a 4-1 lead again for Le Capital. First pitch is inside to Colafamina, and he turned out of the way of that ball one. Sue Foles, by the way, released right-handed pitcher Mike Meyer. He was their pitching coach, so he was just 
in an emergency situation, and outfielder Dan Barbero released, and they signed right-handed pitcher Barry Fowler. Remember Barry? The 1-0. Swung on and fouled off the mask of Allen, and it's a ball and a strike. Sioux City traded catcher Tyler Goodrow to Amarillo to complete an earlier trade. Laredo placed outfielder John Allen on the DL and released right-handed pitcher Robert Romero. Gary released right-handed pitcher Steve Matry. And El Paso released right-handed pitcher Freddie Flores, who's also their pitching coach. Pitch is swung on and fouled back. It's one and two. And Amarillo signed outfielder Derek Piles. And that is trades and transactions for this day, July 24th, in the American Association for the Animal Hospital Manitoba. We treat your pet as if they were our own. One and two to Colafamina. It's one for three tonight. One two pitch. Swung on, knocked down the right field line and foul into the sky suites. Back down below, one and two. St. Paul leading Kansas City. Bottom seven, six to five. Gary's defeated Sioux City, two nothing. Amarillo leads Wichita, 5-4 in the seventh. Pitch is swung on, knocked over the mound, back of the middle, and coming in and trying to hold it was Duran. Got by him, goes into center field. That should be the second error of the night for Winnipeg. And they're going to score that a hit. Oh, boy. And here's Jeff Phelps. No, now they're going to go E6. So back to the top of the order, and Jeff Phelps. He is three for four tonight. And James comes set for his pitch. He's right down the chute for a strike. We're in the eighth, and the gold eyes. Our trailing 6-2 to two here at home. Mike James will come set again. The Gold Eyes have Dexter Carter loosening in the bullpen. Pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. Laredo in front of Lincoln. 9-4 in the sixth. So the Gold Eyes not seen any help on the out-of-town scoreboard. They haven't helped themselves here tonight. Quebec has swung the bat better. Played better defense. Runner on the move. Pitches in there for a strike. Throw down to second. Not in time. Stolen base. The 17th of the year for Califamina. And the batter, Jeff Helps, has a count of one and two on him. Finals in the big leagues. Tampa Bay beat Baltimore 3-1. Cleveland over Detroit, 3-2. That ends the Tigers' five-game win streak. Oakland blasted Toronto, 7-2. In Toronto tonight, pitches in there. I guess inside. Looked like a real good pitch from Craig James to Jeff Helps and Joe Stegner. Thought it was, I guess, it missed somewhere. Two bowls and two strikes. Allen was ready to pop up and throw the ball back toward the mound. The 2-2 pitch is low and inside, 3-2. Philadelphia got by Milwaukee, 7-6 in the National League. Cubs 5-1 winners over Pittsburgh. And Washington beat the Mets 5-2. Atlanta over Miami, 4-3. Tim Hudson the win for the Braves, 3-2. Swung on, fouled at the plate. And we do it again. Six runs, nine hits, no errors for Quebec. Two runs, four hits, two errors for Winnipeg tonight. We're in the top of eight. A four-run third, the difference. For La Capitale, the 3-2 pitch. Swung on, and that is knocked to center field. Roberson right there. He'll make the catch. And that's it. 
for Quebec in the top of the eighth inning. But they add on. They get a run on a hit. It was a home run by Ronnie Rodriguez on error, the second for Winnipeg tonight, and one left. We'll go to the bottom of eight. Quebec leads it by four again, six to two on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Commissioners, Manitoba's premier security solutions provider will take care of your home security needs the next time you go away on vacation. Commissioners' team of bonded professionals will check on your home and help satisfy your insurance requirements. They do interior and exterior patrols and make your home look lived in. Visit their website at commissionaires.mb.ca for more information about their house watch service. Commissionaires, trusted every day, everywhere. In the world of PowerSmart, small changes add up. Did you know a water saver shower head could save you as much as 50 liters of hot water during one 10-minute shower? And that a leaky hot water faucet in your home could be wasting enough energy to heat more than 10,000 liters a year? That's 40,000 glasses of water. Install a water saver shower head and fix leaky faucets. The savings will really add up. For more energy saving solutions from Manitoba Hydro, log on to manitobapowersmart.ca. This gold eye season, Salisbury House on the Esplanade Riel is hitting it right out of the park. With great new taste sensations to get you ready to roar before the game or relive the fun after the final out. With so many great choices, every visit is a new eating adventure. And remember, Sal's is the only place to go for a nip platter, the fan favorite that hits a home run every time. So before or after any gold eyes game, stroll on over for great food and fun on the Esplanade Riel at Salisbury House. Your house, your food, your way. Bottom of the eighth inning, Jose Duran to lead it off. Six to two, Quebec in front. Big crowd here tonight. 6,631. 6,631. Carl Jelena works into his eighth, first pitch. Outside, ball one. Duran 0 for 2 tonight, followed by Amos Ramon, and then Price Kendall 8, 9, and 1 in the order. And the 1 0 in there for a strike. Duran has bounced out to third and to short. 6 to 2, Quebec. The 1 1. Swung on, and that is fouled to the plate. One ball and two strikes. 6,631 here tonight. And they're expecting over six here again tomorrow night. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Here's a slider that's on the outside edge for a called third strike. And Duran goes down looking. And here's Amos Ramon. And Ramon will stand in from the right side. One for one with a walk tonight. And the first pitch to him. On the outside edge for a strike. Right-hander down to the bullpen. Number 27 down there. The pitch is outside one and one, and that is Guillaume Duguay. One one. Swung on, fouled back, and it's a ball and two strikes. Well, let's have a look at Inside the Numbers. And Inside the Numbers brought to you by Recycle Everywhere. Making away from home recycling commonplace. To learn more, visit recycleeverywhere.ca. One, two. Swung on, and that is hit to center field. Running back is going to be Boucher, and he will make the catch for the second out. Well, in looking at Inside the Numbers, we look at the numbers for two seasons for Pat Scalabrini while he played here in Winnipeg. And for Pat, his first year in 2003, 79 games, he hit 300. And he had four homers and 45 driven in. 
but he had 28 doubles that year. And the first pitch is in there for a strike. On base percentage, 366. The pitch to Kendall swung on and fouled away for strike two. And then Scalabrini had a real good year. I mean, that was a good year. You bat 300, four home runs, play 79 games, drive in 45. The 0-2 is low, one ball, two strikes. And then Scalabrini hit 322 in 93 games in 04. 20 homers and 66 driven in. He led the Gold Eyes in home runs that 04 season. 1-2. Swung on. Chopper out towards short. Fielded there by Helps. He's going to throw to first a little low, but dug out with a backhand by Leverett. And that is it for the Gold Eyes in the bottom. Excuse me, of the eighth inning. No runs, no hits. Nobody left. They go 1-2-3. We'll go to the ninth. It is 6-2. Quebec on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. If your business, big or small, has excess waste and recycling piling up, let BFI Canada make your trash our business. Our customized pickup schedules make it easy. With commercial and industrial collection services, BFI Canada can help any business get organized. Want to make your business feel like new? Then call up the blue. Visit BFICanada.com to schedule your pickup date today. BFI Canada, a cleaner community, a greener environment. Wow, we're finally doing it. Building our dream home. I never thought we'd be able to afford it. Well, we did some good saving, and SCU did the rest. Sweet. Can this be my room? Uh, this will be the kitchen, bud. Perfect. Whether you're fixing, building, or buying, feel comfortable in a mortgage from Steinbeck Credit Union. Ready to build? SCU is there with builder mortgages, great rates, and flexible terms. Talk to SCU today. After all, we're taking care of the world's most important mortgage. Yours. Birthdays, office functions, tea parties, whatever. With Archangel Fireworks, every little event becomes a magical backyard affair. So go ahead, rock that next block party. Got a wedding? Bring something blue. And then blow it up. Whatever you do, make it a backyard affair with Archangel Fireworks. At Confusion Corner and online at archangelfireworks.com. The sky is your canvas. Never miss the action with live Gold Eyes coverage on TSN 1290. Now, back to the voice of the Gold Eyes, here's Paul Edmonds. Well, we go to the ninth inning, and a new pitcher for Winnipeg is Dexter Carter. That's it for Craig James. So Dexter will come in, be the third pitcher of the night. And Craig James, two innings tonight. One hit, a run, it's earned. A walk and one strikeout pitching change brought to you by Johnson Waste Management, 4 5 2 on 9 9 For Dexter, a right-hander, 6'6", six six, from North Carolina, 25 years old. Jonathan Malo, Sebastian Boucher, and Rennie Leverett. Due up here for Quebec, they lead at 6-2. First pitch, swung on and missed for strike one. Just absolutely blew that away. And by Jonathan Mallow, who is one for three with a walk and a run scored tonight. And the 0-1. Swung on, fouled away, and it's nothing to two. Nothing in two to Jonathan Mallow. We're in the ninth inning. 6-2 Quebec. They have nine hits. The Gold Eyes have four. 0-2 pitch is in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Nice block there by Allen. Mallow batting 287. And thanks again for Miles Wolf to come up here tonight. Also to Teresa Conroy. Pitch is swung on, fouled back. And we do it again at a ball and two. I don't know about you folks, but I found Miles to be rather candid tonight. 
Like it wasn't like pulling teeth to get answers. One, two. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. Mallow down on strikes. Good pitch. Dexter Carter fans the first batter he sees, and the Gold Eyes have struck out five tonight. And here is Sebastian Boucher, Sebastian Boucher, who is one for three with a walk tonight. Extra Carter comes set. Boucher stands in from the left side. First pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Strike one. Nothing in one to Boucher. Two run single tonight to get his team on the board in that four run third. The pitch. It's outside one and one. One ball, one strike. And the 1-1. One, one. Curve a little high. 2-1. and one. Two balls, one strike. One away here in the ninth inning. Pitch is swung on and fouled back to the screen. And this time, two and two. Six runs, nine hits, no errors. Four Quebec, two runs, four hits, two errors for Winnipeg. Two-two pitch. Breaking ball swung on and fouled to the plate. And Boucher will stay alive. Still a right-hander throwing in that bullpen for Le Capital, and it's number 24, T.J. Stanton, who is their closer and pitching coach. Two balls, two strikes. Two-two. Swung on, fouled back, and we do it again. Boucher hitting 341 on the year. Ten homers, 56 driven in now. And Carter will come set. 2-2. Fastball swung on, fouled back. And back down below. And everybody okay there? Did you get a souvenir there, Ted? Oh, your friend did. Two balls and two strikes. You were like a dog and a bone in there, though. Two and two. And Sebastian Boucher will step out. Miles Wolf is right. This team has a lot of Quebec talent on it. 2-2 pitch. Swung on, line to center field. As he got a fastball and pumped it into center for a one-out single in his second hit of the night. And here is Rennie Leverett. And Leverett will stand in from the right side. Look down to Pat Scalabrini. And then stride up and in. On this roster for Quebec. There are 12 players that played on this team last year. First pitch is low, ball one.
Chad Jones, who's a reliever, played in Swift Current, Saskatchewan last year in the Western Major Baseball League. A couple of kids right out of college. The pitch swung on, chopper left side. That gets by Amos Ramon, fielded by Duran. Throw to first, and it won't be in time. Nice play by Duran. A high chopper, one of those in between short and thirds. And going to his left, Amos just couldn't get it. Durant deep in the hole did, but by the time he threw to first base, Leverett passed DeCaster and onto the base safely for an infield single. And the batter is Josue Pele. Who steps in from the right side. Warm night here tonight. First pitch is on the inside edge for a strike. 90 on the gun. One away, two on. Six to two. Quebec leading. First of a three-game series, the first of a six-game homestand. The Gold Eyes looking at Fargo beating Sioux Falls tonight. The pitch, swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Last check was a five-run lead. 10-5 for Fargo in the sixth over Sioux Falls. Pally here tonight is 0 for 3, was hit by a pitch. And the 0-2 swung on, and that is sent down the right field line. Foul territory, long run for DeCaster, and he gets into the seats. Still nothing in two. Pally batting 293 as a team. Quebec hitting 282 as a collective unit. Gold Eyes 290. Their ERA pretty good though, 396. The Gold Eyes at 402. 11 hits tonight for Quebec. Carter comes set, 0 2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on, hit to center. Back goes Roberson, curls, faces us, makes the catch, and now the throw will go past the cutoff man to third base and a couple of hops, and holding it second is Sebastian Boucher. Now the batter is Steve Brown, one for three with a walk. And Brown will step in from the right side. A. Brown, a two-run single tonight, a pop-up. And a bounce out. He's also walked, pitches outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. One ball, no strikes. To Steve Brown, the pitch is outside, 2-0. Oh. Now tomorrow, Ace Walker, 5-2, a 2.89 ERA versus fellow right-hander John Mariotti, 8-1 with a 4.56. Two balls, no strikes. Carter comes set. And the pitch, swing and a miss, and it's 2-1. A little fastball right by him. Real good gathering here tonight. Over 6,600. Expecting the same again tomorrow. Not sure about the nooner on Thursday, though. The 2 1 is low, three balls and one strike. With two away, we look ahead to the bottom of nine for Winnipeg. Roberson, DeCaster, and Weber. Two, three, and four. And right now, they would need four to tie. Two out, two on the pitch. 
in there for a strike, and it's three and one, and Steve Brown thought he had ball four. Brown tonight had that two-run single and that four-run third, and then he's popped out and grounded out. And Carter comes set trying to put him away with a 3-2 count. From the stretch, a look at second, and the payoff. Missed inside, ball four. I don't know where that missed here, but Joe Stegner has all of a sudden tightened the strike zone up. And now Bill Pulsford, I think, is going to go and have a little chat with Dexter Carter here. And time will be called. So it's a walk to Steve Brown. And the bases are loaded again for Quebec. And Robert Wagner, the batter, he is 0 for 4. Six to two is the score for Quebec. And the bases are loaded with two away in the ninth. Wagner struck out twice and bounced out twice tonight. He's 0 for 4. And whatever was said has been said. And Bill Pulsifer walks off the field. And gets back beside Rick Forney as they are up against the top step and against that railing. Goldeye's third base dugout. Here's Wagner. First pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for strike one. That was 95 on the gun here. Fireworks to follow here tonight. Both guys are going to need some fireworks in the bottom of the ninth to try to win this one or at least tie it. Carter comes set. The 0-1. Breaking ball is inside and a delayed throw back by Allen. Usually means he didn't agree with the non-strike call. One ball, one strike. One and one. And the pitch. Swung on and fouled back. And that will get on top of the roof here at Shaw Park. One and two. Robert Wagner hitting 248. Bases loaded, two away. Fans may be trying to help out here. Here we go. One, two. Breaking ball. Cold third strike. Right over the heart of the plate. Wagner knew it. And that is that for Quebec. Second strikeout tonight for Dexter Carter. No runs. Two hits. Three left. Quebec is stranded ten. But they lead this one by four. And we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. They are three outs away from winning game one. In the first ever meeting between Winnipeg and Quebec. Gold eyes. Well, they've got three outs to try to get back in this one. We'll see what happens when we come back. Last chance for Winnipeg. Make sure you do on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. The Winnipeg Gold Eyes make dreams come true by providing live baseball experiences to charities, nonprofit groups, and inner city programs. Now, with the Gold Eyes Community Zone, even more memories are available to be made. For group tickets, contact the Gold Eyes at 982 Base. These extra seats are only possible through generous donations from the Community Zone partners. So, from the Winnipeg Gold Eyes and Community Zone recipients, thank you. Can Ed Inns, Labatt, Manitoba, and Dairy Farmers of Manitoba. Ever try sucking an orange through a straw? How about five? Oh, come on! It can happen, because we're blending up a difference at Jugo Juice. Our fresh fruit smoothies knock it out of the park with over five servings of fruit jammed into every 24-ounce cup. This season, make it a mini combo with a zesty Southwest chicken wrap. Get healthy on the go with Jugo Juice. Find us at Shaw Park and online at jugojuice.com. From the diamond to the driveway, from weekend warrior to world-class pro, local athletes are choosing Manitoba pork for peak performance. Loaded with lean, high-quality protein and essential vitamins and minerals, pork is a powerhouse of nutrition for serious athletes. 
for a real competitive edge, choose Manitoba Pork, fueling today's athletes. Learn more about pork for peak performance at manitobapork.com. Well, we go to the bottom of the ninth inning, and Chris Roberson will lead it off, followed by Sherundle DeCaster, John Weber. And the first pitch is swung on and popped up. And back toward the seats, it will get in them behind the Gold Eyes third base dugout, strike one. While Carl Jelena works into his ninth, looking for his second complete game of the year. And he's been masterful here tonight. He's walked one, struck out three, given up two runs on four hits. And his team leads six to two, three outs away from winning game one against Winnipeg. The 0-1. Swung on, and that's popped up. Down the left field line, foul territory, and over underneath it is Mallow, and the third baseman makes the catch, and there's one away. Now the batter is Sherundle DeCaster. And T.J. Stanton is down throwing to the bullpen. Just in case. And DeCaster, one for three tonight. Had a double. First pitch outside, ball one. Well, nothing fancy about Jelena. He just is very precise in his control, the 1-0. Swing and a miss, and it's 1-1. And the Gold Eyes have, well, some nights a pitcher's just going to carve you up a little bit, as Jelena has here tonight, but for 1-1. One, one. Winnipeg will chop one out toward third. Running pickup by Malo. He throws to first, and DeCaster not even really running down the line. And some of the fans aren't very happy with that. Now, he is a little bit hurt with that calf problem. But there's two away, and here's John Weber. So the Gold Eyes down to their final out. Anyway, Winnipeg sloppy tonight defensively, and in running the bases at one point as well. Just not a a Picasso here of baseball performances. First pitch to John Weber is outside. Ball one. Six to two, Quebec. Goldie's got the rally cap on. The 1 0. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Two and 0 to John Weber, who's 0 for 3 tonight. The 2 0 pitch. Swung on, ground ball off the mound, back up the middle for a base hit. Two out single. And now Luis Allen, the batter. And is Pat Scalabrini going to make a move here and bring in his closer? I think he is. And now Scalabrini calls for time. and He'll point down to the bullpen, I think, and go and get his starter, who had a great night in Carl Jelena. The entire infield comes in to meet on the mound. Scalabrini, although might be making a visit here because the pitching coach, T.J. Stanton, is warming in the bullpen. So I think that's all that this is, is just a visit. And Scalabrini will tap Jelena on the bumper. And we get a pitch runner for the Gold Eyes in John Weber, and it's going to be Chris Salamita. So pinch running is Chris Salamita. That happens in this ninth inning. John Weber comes out. And the first pitch to Luis Allen is low ball one. Six to two, Quebec leads it two away. We're in the bottom of nine. Gold Eyes have a base runner. And somewhere on the bench is the tie and run. The 1-0. Breaking ball inside 2-0. 2-0 to 
Two balls and no strikes. Allen tonight is 0 for 2, was hit by a pitch his first trip as well. Waggles the bat back and forth. The 2 0 is in there for a strike. And it's 2 and 1. Back of the air again tomorrow, 6 30. 2 1. Swung on, ground ball, out towards short, should end the game. Up with it helps, and he feeds to second, and the ball game is over on the fielder's choice. So, Quebec comes in and takes game one and do it rather impressively with a 6-2 victory over the Winnipeg Old Eyes here tonight. For Winnipeg in the ninth, no runs, one hit, and one left. Final score, Quebec 6, Winnipeg 2. Totals, the postgame show, are next after these on the Gold Eyes Radio Network. Welcome to Rogers Tech Talk. Sarah's on the line. I want a cool new phone, but I have a fear of commitment. Well, now with Rogers Flex Tab, you can get your dream phone, like an HTC One X, on your terms with a low upfront payment. That's great. And you could be free.